but I, I, I have like, I have like this inflatable doll that was in a, in a set that I have. And I was so afraid that you would see her because she's been in my videos in the past that I put an RBT shirt on her and then I put some glasses on her trying to make her look smart. So, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me turn this other light on. So give me some more lighting here. Oh, okay, now I turn it off. My brain stops working after a while. So you got to excuse me, but I was sitting there. I'm like, oh my God, I turned around. It's like 9.58. And I see like this naked blow up doll and I didn't want you guys to think anything weird of me, but like, I was like, I just put an RBT shirt on it. It just made it look like a little more supportive. <laughs> weird on this. Okay. You know? But I also didn't want you to think I was disrespectful either. Like, it was just like, make her just, she just works for different reasons. We love blow up dolls. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> No, we did a shoot here a few months ago and, you know, I don't like to, um, I really don't like shooting in the living room. My, my boyfriend uh, works in the entertainment industry as I do, he's got his Emmys upstairs and I don't like to misrepresent his Emmys. So like, I just, I shoot in my dressing room a lot. So, um, so we, I just don't like to shoot with the awards behind me. <laughs> so. I'd rather have Dina the um, Hi everyone. Hey. Hello, hi y'all. Hi. Jack, why'd you have to wear a tank top? Put that shirt on. <laughs> no. Put a shirt on, Jack. Get <laughs> off, Jack. Hey, get your buddy out and buy a tank top. Come on. I think my hair. Same shirt all the time. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I look and sound? Am I good? I don't see you. You're good. You, You're good. But I hear you. All right. Where are you? You don't see me? I'm up here. There you there are. There you are. Now we see you. I have an extra chair here in case Michelle joins us, which she will for a bit. <laughs> oh, she has to fix the curtains behind us. So let's go over something. Let me see. We right now, maybe you know better, James, but we have people that are on this Zoom from what countries? Now, Anthony, Anthony Mallet, you're where where are you now? You're in Ireland, Ireland Australia. Right. I Ireland. Got We're currently in Ireland. Okay, cool. So, so you, uh, we got people from Ireland. Where else do we have? I know we have Canada, right? Obviously. We have the US. Any other countries out there that I'm missing? I'm all day in Mexico right now. Oh, nice. nice. What else you got? Tamika will be joining us from Australia. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's the furthest. That's the first. Well, at least the furthest for me. I'm in Brooklyn, New York. So uh, I'm in New York too. So cool. Nice. Where's I'm Nietzsche now? Manitoba. Oh, I'm up in the, the Paul Manitoba, up in Northern Manitoba. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's kind of a question. All right, James, if you could take a look at who's on and who's not on, and then I guess we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get started when we feel like uh, we've let a few minutes gone by and everyone that we were expecting to get on has gone on. Well, uh, Louis looks like he's connecting, but having a little bit of problems. Uh, I, I just sent Tamika a message. She told me to message her. I think, I think she wanted me to wake her up because she's like, message me when it's time, so. So what, what, so what coaches do we have here? I see J-Lo, I see Michaela. Anyone else on here coach-wise? No, I mean, um, uh, Moko had said to us that she wouldn't be able to join us because of the traveling and the competition. Right. Which, um, you know, very happy for Moko. And she surprised us all with her sneak attack uh, competition. So oh, she's great. obviously obviously in transit with that. So she won't be able to join us. And um, uh, Lewis is here with um, Mark, but you know, Mark only really kind of has one participant in this and then none of the other RBT coaches really have anybody in this. So, okay, cool. It's going to be Jen and Michaela. Awesome. There she is. Can you hear me? Yes. 
Hey, James. Look, I just want to let you know, I have some issues going on at work. So if I have to jump off, it's uh, this is Terrell. So I may just jump off immediately. So. Okay. I just want to let y'all know. You're bringing somebody back to life there or something or what happens? <laughs> Actually, we uh, we have some issues with one of our ballers that just tripped on us. So, so oh, we got man. that going on. So we had an emergency earlier. So. All right. But, I'm noted. Okay. Well, thank you all for coming. So we're going to be doing some things tonight. The first thing is the uh, the questions. I have pre-sent you all questions, or I, I should have. I, I noticed that there's a couple where it had trouble going through, but um, so, and there's going to be some surprises tonight. So I want all of you to stick around if you can. I mean, obviously some people like Terrell had just said are at work and, you know, people are calling in from around the world and, you know, we are so thankful that you've all taken the time to join us on this call. And um, we understand if you have to leave an emergency or whatever the situation is. But uh, after we get through the questions, there'll be some things that you guys are going to want to stick around for. So hopefully you can till then. And if you can't, you know, totally understandable. So uh, any questions before we get started? Okay, so so we're gonna start with these uh, questions and oh, um, sorry, real quick, James. I was I went. I didn't realize I was muted. Uh, Anthony and Luann, if you could just one of you guys mute your devices, or because you're so close to each other, every time the the microphone picks up, uh, it echoes. So if you could just maybe mute. I can mute you, but I don't. If I do that, then you won't be able to unmute yourself. So. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll just get one camera. Yeah, that's good. Just one camera is good if you're in the same building, right? Cool. Thank you. Okay, James. Awesome. So you guys are the top 20, which is a, um, an amazing accomplishment. Um, you know, even though that sounds like a lot, there's like a couple hundred people that entered this contest. And, you know, there's a lot of people that were pretty deserving and were close to making the top 20 that couldn't. So, you know, it was some tough decisions. And um, as I promised in the uh, last video everybody here is going to get a prize and you know we'll be talking about that further but um we're going to start with the questions because i want everybody to kind of get to know each of you a little bit you know because obviously i've seen all your auditions and your submissions and uh, you know been watching on social media but not everybody has been as attentive so you know all of you have uh tremendous backgrounds and and different things that you've overcome as part of this journey so i'd like to give everybody kind of a sample so i've got basically one or two questions each just to kind of get to know you and familiarize yourself. So in uh, no particular order, we'll start with, let's see. is uh, Amanda here? Of course, the first one I pick isn't here. <laughs> All right, we'll move on if, um, Michaela, can you uh, can you send a text to her? Yeah, I just texted her. I, she might be sleeping because I know I was I messaged her and told her what time. She said she'll try and set an alarm. I don't know what time it is where she is. Yeah, but I just sent her a text. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we'll move on. We'll come back to that if if we can. So, uh, Anthony. Uh, Millette, I wanted to ask you about uh, you had had a car accident. And then you've, um, through RBT, you've had to do a lot to kind of overcome that. So I wanted to ask you about that and the kind of mindset that it took to do that. Awesome. Thank you, James. Thank you so much for that question. Um, I think that in order to, for me to really truly answer that question is how did RBT help me to overcome the challenge post-accident? I think, first of all, we need to look at what is RBT in order to truly answer that. So for me, RBT is a platform that has been made up of James Hergert, who has the creative mindset to be able to take something that is so important to us, to take our health and to be able to put that into a challenge, to be able to put that into the public's eye so that we can see the importance of it. And really, um, you know, as a creative, you've, you've, it's really an artist. You've taken nothing and you've created something out of it. 
On the back of that, we have Anthony Lollier, so a fantastic brand ambassador. Um, so it, we take a look at Anthony's transformation and it's just incredible. Um, and then on the other end, the glue to put all of that together, we have somebody like Carlos, um, who looks after all the back end, all the operations, and really just is such a magnet in himself to put that together. And then behind, um, the, behind the scenes, working on all the clothing, we've got people like Michelle and a really great team. But for me, what was important was the challenge that you put out there to me was I was, um, so my story real quick is that uh, I met Anthony Lolly after speaking on a stage many years ago, and he was full of life in more ways than one, but what a fantastic individual. I got to know Anthony a little bit in his story and the success and wealth he had in real estate, and that was something else that we related to. And um, when Anthony took the transformation and decision uh, to change his life, because he wanted to live longer, he wanted to not die. That, that really impacted on me too. And um, just watching all my different heroes and all my mentors out there. And uh, when Anthony started that transformation, um, secretly, uh, I was doing the same. Uh, I was back um, my, uh, in Kells in Ireland. Uh, how did I get there was I was in America uh, running a successful business. I'm a serial entrepreneur. And we move um, to, from South Africa to America. We come to renew our visa. And bottom line is we got stuck in Ireland. And that's where the mindset started to get corroded. Um, and just a short story is that I managed to pick myself back up. I started a new business and everything was starting to look good. Um, Anthony was on his transformation uh, challenge and I was busy following him um, and back in the gym myself. And then my life came to an absolute Massive, massive shock. Um, I was in a car with my son and um, we had a, a very, very serious head-on collision, which I really thought that I was gonna lose my son. And I felt that I had so much more to give this, this world than to be able to live and, and die right there at that moment. And by the grace of God, um, we all, uh, managed to get out of that accident relatively unscathed. Um, I damaged my shoulder in trying to protect my son. Very fortunately, the airbags went off and he was, he was okay. Um, but the mental trauma was probably worse than the physical. Um, although uh, I've gone for CAT scans, MRIs, for them to see what they can do to fix my shoulder because I don't have full movement in my shoulders um, as a result of the accident. But for me... I think that's, that's where RBT kicked in. Um, just to, to push a good man down, um, as a result of the, the car accident, my mindset was just wrong. Um, the, we were about to launch a new business and my partners just felt that I wasn't there. I, I wasn't mentally there. Um, as you can see, I'm still pretty emotional about this. And, and so they pulled the plug on the project and um, here I was, no work, no income, stuck in a, in a foreign country. Uh, because waiting for our visas, just when we thought we were getting our life back together where everything was taken from us. And then uh, 18 months later, after being stuck in a, in a confinement in Ireland, we had a lockdown, we were stuck in a, in a five kilometer radius, um, could only leave for essential services, not even uh, to get out and, and do some training, that when the gyms were all closed. And, and I was just getting obese. You know, I, I really went from, from bad to worse. And, um, you know, just doing everything that you shouldn't be doing. You're sitting at home, pity party, bad environment, um, consuming alcohol, uh, you know, just eating the wrong foods, doing everything that you shouldn't be doing, um, binge watching on TV, uh, not doing the things that I really love and desire to do. So the challenge came about and I said, that's it. This is my sign. The universe has brought this to me. Uh, and I secretly signed up. I didn't even tell anybody. And um, after signing up, I, I put my... my um, video forward and in that video really what I, what I did is I, I, came to, I got myself out of this rut I got myself out of the mindset and decided that I wasn't being the best version of myself and if I can do this if I can show other people that you can be the best version I can be out there my mess can become my message to other people mm -hmm. and so that's mm -hmm. what really what I wanted to do is, is mm -hmm. do this not as much for me as much as for my family for my friends but it, kind of my message to the world to be able to help others. And, and I'm so grateful that RBT 
selected me to come forward in this challenge and be part of this and to be able to share my story. So in, in joining RBT, I had a set time frame, um, and really what we did is we set smart goals and um, they were specific, measurable, attainable, um, realistic and time yes, we had 90 days to do it. In. So, you know, when you're setting goals, I used all of these things, all the formulas, all the personal development that I have to make the better self of me. And I hope that I was able to relay that to our fellow um, competitors in motivating them on the social media. And what it did for me is it has motivated me and totally. Uh, we, we changed not only our environment, we, we decided that this is it, we, this is, we're gonna make this really work. And um, we moved out of our little apartment to a beautiful house that we now live in. Uh, we've, we're on a farm. And, and as those things started, everything just starts to change. And you know, when, when the winds start to come, they start to come in abundance. When you're in that scarcity mindset, you, you're down there and you're, you're putting party, you're all by yourself. But I realized one thing, if it's gonna be, it's up to me. And that's what I wanted to get that message out there so I can help other people to be the best version of themselves. So for me, being able to have Coach Moko, being able to have the, the diet that she put me on, the training that she put me on, being able to see the other competitors, how they struggled, their life stories, being able to support them has just inspired me to get into the top 20. Thank you, RBT. Mm -hmm. Love you. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. By the way, look at all these thin faces. Look at all, like everybody has lost so much weight. It's crazy. <laughs> well, um, I, I, see on, I can on barely now. recognize him. I mean, he oh. took like 15 years off of his face. Look at him. Wait, which one did you say? Nietzsche. Yeah, I know. I know. It's oh, amazing. I want to see Nietzsche. I'll show you Nietzsche. One second. You want to see him? One second. Where are you, Nietzsche? Where are you? You're here. Here he is. More and, and I love the haircut too, man. Looks awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Almost didn't recognize him when I first ran into him at the gym. I was like, wait, is this him? Wait, no, it is, it is. Yeah. Wow. Where is he? There he is. Ha ha. So so um like a teen heart so draw, BG. <laughs> <laughs> So we have Am Amanda actually joined us, James. So if we want to kind of ask her whatever we wanted to ask her, it would be good. So we definitely, that was lengthy from Anthony. We had, we got some great nuggets there from him. Um, we definitely want to move it along a little bit. So Amanda, we had a couple of questions we wanted to ask you and James will take, take the lead on that. Hi. Let's... Hi. Well, um, Amanda, are you ready yet? I fell asleep, guys. Oh, no problem. <laughs> um, For two days. So uh, welcome awake. And now I'm going to ask you a question. Now, so my right question on. is a pretty lightweight question for you. It's, you know, you did all these uh, different videos and stuff on social media. And um, we want to know if you've always been this funny or if it's just something that's happened now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've always been late first of all. And so I think I make up for that to entertain people. Yeah, no, I'm an only child. So maybe yeah, I think I have always, I don't know that I've always been funny, but I think I try to entertain definitely always. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, thank you for joining us. And um, <laughs> I, I'm going to move on to uh, Ashley North. And uh, Ashley has, uh, has MS and she's uh, been doing this for quite a while. And um, I, I want to ask you, Ashley, uh, how th has this affected you in terms of your symptoms and, you know, using diet and training to, you know, suppress uh, the MS symptoms that you have and kind of what your experience has been? You, you might have to take it off mute. Ashley North? I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> I just, um, it's basically taken, um, I've had a 20%, uh, I've had probably like a 30% or was it? I'm sorry. I had to, I have to think for a minute. It, it is like close to it's past my bedtime. I'm gotten old. Um, <laughs> but no, it, it's, I've had like, um, 
a 40% disability, I've actually been able to get 20% of that back on my right side, but I had a brain aneurysm when I was 18 years old, which it was in result with helped me have MS. Um, I've also, I have shots in my head every month, which is, I usually have, I think it's, I have 14 shots a month, which 11 of them, they put directly into my skull. Um, I actually am only down to two in my arm, on both sides of my arms, which I was really dreading that last week. I was just sitting there, you go to the, you go to the doctor and you're just like, I don't want anything else in my skull, you know? And so that I, we eliminated that process. I was taking probably like 19 pills a day. I'm down to five. Um, I, my, the, my diet is really, really improved. My strength in my arms is improved. Um, it, it's amazing how my body is just, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot of just self healing. I mean, I, I can't say I, it's like a miracle drug because I think a lot of it, you, it's a lot of mind over matter. You know, I really just wanted to be a stronger person and be a stronger version of myself and, and put this, put a mind over matter mindset into myself and said, Hey, I just want to be a healthier version of myself. I'm tired of putting chemicals in my body. I'm tired of doing all these things and becoming an, cause I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on medicine, just experimental medicines, just to keep myself alive. And, you know, I've, I mean, it was 25 years ago when I had a brain aneurysm rupture in my brain that gave me 72 hours to live. I lived, they told me I'd never walk again, here I am. And now I'm improving every day. And, and uh, I just want to be an example for folks like myself that I can do this, other folks can do this too. And you know why I want to compete? I don't want to be the Selma Blair that's out there. Yes, she is making money. She is showing someone, she's playing a character that has MS, but you know, why be the weakness when you can be the strength? And I come from a family of strong characters. I almost lost my mom to COVID this year and she didn't let it take her. And now she went from being on oxygen for the last six months and now she's fine. You know, I don't believe in weakness and they didn't come from weakness. And that's why you do it. You know, you do, you show the world how strong you are and be an example and, 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 when I said the quote the other day, you know, you can get on with living or you can get on with dying. That's, that's a quote that my parents used every day to show that you can actually be your own strength. We, we give everything to God, but you have to take responsibility for your own strength and be your own power and be your own, you know, prevail every day i mean you know you, you know god can't do it all for you you have to do it you have to do some of it for yourself and and you can't be a victim and that's it and i chose to not be a victim and i chose not you know i'm gonna have ms no matter what and so how i choose to live with ms is up to me and i choose to be the healthiest strongest version of myself and that you have to lead by example. You know, I am a working actor. I am a working singer. I am a working model at this point. I just walked New York Fashion Week. I work television. You know, I'm an award-winning singer actor, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't have any plans on stopping anytime soon. You know, I have 180 entertainment awards under my belt. I'm a member of the Grammys. I'm a member of the Emmys. I, you know, I have Sony distribution. I can actually sign myself to Sony at this point. I have, I can do anything I want and the world's my oyster. So I'm taking it all and MS is not going to stop me. And my next stop is to do a competition now. And it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. You know, sometimes when I'm lifting the weights and this side is shaking more than this side. And all of a sudden now they're both strong. It's the most amazing thing. I, and sometimes I cry 
And so, you know, when I, you don't understand, I cried for two days after this announcement and I got on and I did the, and I'm making, I'm trying to make this short. So if you want to give me the shut up music, you got to do the Oscar thing to me. Cause I swear to God, I will talk for an hour. <laughs> you, I will do the Oscar music. Um, cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos, cue the music. Well, now, we, we do have to move it along a little bit. So All right. That's fine. But go ahead. We love it. This is good stuff. Okay, yeah, just, continue. I mean, it, 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 I really did just cry because, I mean, it's been more of just like not having my mobility since I was 18 years old completely and being able to have the strength of both of my arms that, that really, and my legs, that, that really has been more to me than anything. And it's the biggest reward. And I don't mean to cry, but that's the biggest reward out of all this for me. See, I'm doing my Sally Fields now. <laughs> all right y'all y'all can continue to the next one so right, that's that, been that great. was intense and, and we appreciate it and, <laughs> um, yeah guys we are gonna have to keep it moving um yeah. but Ashley, i'm glad that you're able to express yourself that deeply that's you know what rbt is all about and that's all these amazing amazing stories it's just that we do have 20 people on this yeah that's why you gotta just give me the cue and tell me to shut up like <laughs> 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 okay, so uh next i'm gonna ask a question to david david's also been doing this for a while and it was interesting when he did his submission video it, it was pretty powerful because he said you know I, i'm sick of being ignored and you know he mentions um that he won't settle for being an average guy anymore that he's sick of being average and i, I wanted to ask him kind of what he meant by that and at what point that he noticed uh, did he make that decision? So, you know, just to give a, a little backstory. So as a kid, I was, I was a chubby kid, right? So I always had to prove myself. Uh, you know, I tried to play sports my whole life. And I, I remember, I think when I was in fifth grade, um, I heard a kid say he's only on, he's only on that team or he said the, the fat kid's only on that team because his dad's the coach. Right. So as a child, yeah, I was, I was a big kid probably up until about sixth grade. I think I exited sixth grade weighing 135 pounds and I was just tired of being teased. So I won't get into what, you know, and, and how, but uh, something snapped inside of me and I went from 135 in sixth grade to 98 pounds in seventh grade because I was so self-conscious and just so tired of being the chubby fat kid that got teased. So that kind of stuck with me uh, my whole life. I was an athlete as a teenager, you know, I was always fit and, and, and playing sports as an adult, I continued to work out and lift weights, but you know, I, I'm probably one of the older uh, competitors in this uh, contest. And, you know, maybe in my late thirties, early forties, I started to spin my wheels and it just seemed like the more work I put in, you know, the, the results weren't happening. And you know, over the past, maybe three years, maybe in the past two years, it's just got to the point where I was like, what am I doing wrong? I'm lifting weights. I'm eating pretty much healthy. You know, I mean, I wasn't strict like I am now. I was running. I was doing everything by the textbook. But I'm like, you know what? I look in the mirror and I'm like, do you even work out? So I was getting very frustrated with myself. So I remember in June of 2020, I was sitting uh, on the couch. I had my laptop. And I saw on a casting site, Radical Body Transformations. So I had seen the show prior to even uh, reaching out to James. I had watched Radical Body Transformations on Amazon Prime. And when I saw that casting, you know, my life as I get older is about taking risks. I think as you get older, you start to realize that your days on this planet are numbered. And what are you going to look back on? So when I saw that casting notice for Radical Body Transformation, I, I stared at that screen and I just thought, you know what, this is it. This is my last chance. This is a way to get the help I need. This is a way for me to really make a difference. And I think I probably went over in my mind for about three or four days before I made that email. So June of 2020 is when I took that risk because I was tired of being average. I was tired of working my butt off to always try to be mediocre. I was at the young age uh, growing up 
So I was always younger than my friends. I always had to prove myself to keep up in sports. I probably would have been a better athlete if I would have stayed behind. So I was always fighting an uphill battle because the other athletes were two years ahead of me. They were two years older than me, two years more physical, two years more developed. So everything was a struggle for me. So now that I'm older, I'm like, you know what? It's time to make a change. So I reached out to RBT. I reached out to James and here I am. And you know what? Taking a risk is kind of my motto in everything I do now, because I don't want to look back and, and regret not taking the risk. So RBT, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad you accepted me. And I'm only halfway through my journey. I, I want to keep going until I get a body that I can look at in the mirror and be proud of and know that I took that risk. So thank you. Awesome. James, you're muted. But um, guys, if we could take a second, everyone, and thank you, David, for that. Uh, Thanks, just David. If, for all your cameras, can you wipe down your cameras, everyone, just to make sure we have it nice and clear with your shirt, with, the, with anything? I just want to have the best possible video so that we can, uh, when we play this back, because it's all a recording, um, everybody gets a chance to see a nice, beautiful you. And I'll give you guys this cue music. I'll see if you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <Sorry>. good. <laughs> okay, so um, next person is Erica. Is Erica here? Yeah. I okay. saw her. Uh, Erica. Um, How to clear. Can you guys awesome. see me clearly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So my question for you is you were in the military. You've done a lot of different things. Would you say that this is the best shape you've ever been in? And um, if so, how has RBT helped you get in the best shape? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, before I, before I start, I want to say that you guys look super amazing. And don't be surprised if I DM you to collaborate on my next video. Okay, stay tuned. Um, so back to your question. Yes, it has. Um, being in the military, you know, it's all about being physically active. I've always been active, um, never had an issue with that. But the main component to being in like the best shape ever is the nutritional side. And unfortunately, you know, in my experience being in the military, we didn't have a nutritional plan. We didn't have a nutritional coach. I didn't even know what macros was at one point in my life. So, um, you know, I've learned a lot on the nutritional side. And I know probably my coach is like sick and tired of me always asking questions, <laughs> endless questions about nutrition, but it's like, it's so important. Um, and because of that, I mean, I'm just like shocked to where, where I am. And I could just imagine to, I could imagine where I'm going to be, you know? So, so yeah. Is that, uh, that that's perfect. Straight perfect forward and simple? <laughs> Good job. All right. Okay. And Next question is for Jack. I don't know if you guys know Jack, but. Oh, man. <laughs> so, Jack, Jack, you're going to be 72 years young. So, I'm sorry, 62. Oh, yeah, I, know, you. You guys all I don't know. Just well, want to okay. make sure we were paying attention. <laughs> 62 years young in January. 61 still. 60, 61 still. Still the oldest and, uh, competitor. Hard to believe he's a grandfather. And he talks about, um, when I interviewed him privately, he spoke about how uh, when he was really at his biggest and, um, you know, he didn't, he just wanted to sit on the chair and not, you know, just watch TV. He didn't want to play with the grandkids or the kids. And he was very inactive. And he says he's got a totally different experience with them at this point. So I wanted to ha ask him about that and how it feels to be so mobile now and to be able to play with the kids. Well, first of all, I was hoping for an easy question and you give me this emotional question. That's <laughs> but, and, you know, it started, you know, when my, uh, my third uh, grandkid was born, Cole. 
and that and uh, the kids asked me to watch him uh, since I wasn't working. You know, I was out of work for six years. You know, with my injury, and uh, so of course I'm not going to say no to my daughter. Right, so I'm going to watch him, and um, you know, but I had to get out of the, get this weight off. At that time, I'm 370 pounds. And I'm in, and I'm depressed like crazy because it's been six years with my injury. So, you know, I, I had to try to get the weight off and, uh, and get out of that hole. So it took me a while to get out of there. And um, so, you know, as we went on, I lost some weight, but it was still tough with uh, just changing his diaper. You know, the back would hurt, the knees were hurt, lifting them and all that. And then finally, I started losing some weight on my weight uh, loss uh, routine. And uh, everything started getting easier. I started, uh, started to walk, you know, and I started to push a stroll around with them. And uh, everything started to get easier. And, um, you know, and then, uh, then the next one was born. And, um, and then I had two of them to watch. So by that time, I'm already down to about 240. But I'm still not mobile enough or anything like that. And uh, my legs, man, they're hell. There's no, there's no muscle in my legs. So the last thing to do was to join RBT, and that's what I did. And uh, since then, it's changed me completely. Uh, you know, I'm playing with these guys. I'm wrestling with them. I'm bench pressing them. Um, you know, they want muscles like Papa now. And. <laughs> So, so it's changed me, and it's and uh, you know I always wanted to coach them as they grow up in in, in sports and everything, and um, and now you know I got the uh, I want to go on stage for them. That's why I'm doing it. I want to go on stage for them because my my grandson Cole actually to me he saved my life back in that back in 2017 by being born. So this uh, I want to leave him a legacy of me. And I wanted to see me on the stage. And I want, I saw, a movie, there was a movie a, a while back called Night's Tale. I want to change their stars. And I want to change my stars. And that's what, uh, you know, RBT has done for me. You know, quick version. That's awesome, Jack. <laughs> that, was, that was fantastic and very powerful. And it's incredible, all the powerful stories that are part of this and part of the community. It really is a family in so many ways. Um, so next question is to JJ. And JJ, uh, you had a stroke. And I know that when you started working out, you had yeah. some fears about if um, what would happen and if you'd be able to handle it. And I want to kind of ask you what your experience has been like, like, you know, you know, having to work out and do all these things, if it, you know, having the if it was like you expected or what kind of your experience has been with this? It was completely not I expected. Um, I've spent seven years um, fighting muscle issues and muscle spasms and dystonia in my back and muscle pain and nerve pain. And so it was counterintuitive to build more muscle, which was what was a major source of issue, of problems for me. Um, I found out that was not the case at all. Um, you know, I went through a lot of stuff. I, at my highest weight was 226 pounds. I'm right now down like 86 pounds um, from my highest. And that's been in over the last two years. And I felt myself on this slippery slope of like a lot of people have said that being the last chance and I have my daughter and I couldn't let that happen. Um, I'm supposed to worry about her, not her or me. And I did everything I could with diet. And I, I say that, um, but I didn't know a thing about nutrition because even though I had lost 65 pounds before this challenge, um, I did it with processed foods and diet stuff. And the difference for me is night and day between the nutrition with RBT and for my body personally, I have a genetic disorder also. And so there are certain things I can't process. 
Um, and just not having processed food has changed so much for me and my health. But the craziest part was, was the muscle change and, um, building muscle actually calmed a lot of the stuff that was causing me pain. So it improved things like my, my left side is where my stroker, I had muscle spasms in my back. They were so bad. It had given me scoliosis and literally pulled my spine to that side of my body. I'm right now dealing with spinal de degeneration from the wear and tear of it, you know, and I don't know what's going to happen with that or how they're going to fix it. And I don't even care. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll deal with it when, you know, when I get there, but being able to work out and I feel like my other side of my body is becoming balanced now. Um, I actually have less pain than I did before. And that wasn't what I expected at all. So it's, I feel like there are so many people out there and I'm doing everything I can to learn about it. Actually working on my CPT right now because I want to help other stroke survivors because you go through that process and unless you're really disabled, they're glad you're alive and you're on your own and you just have to do whatever it takes. And I did that for seven years and it's hard when you don't know what to do. Um, you struggle, you survive. That's, and I changed, you know, my thing from survive to thrive because I feel like I am now and everybody deserves that. A lot like Ashley said, everybody does that. Like I have so much in parallel with her um, and so much respect for her and what she's been through. But there are so many people that don't know that and don't have hope. And that's what I hope I can bring, if anything. Well, I, I think that's a great summary. And I, I imagine that some, most of you can kind of understand how you guys made it here in the first place now, like these incredible stories. Um, I want to move on. Uh, thank you, JJ. I want to move on to, um, to Jen. Now, Jen's in Mexico, as she mentioned. And I don't know if you've seen them. She's posted them. She did the, the Redneck Barbie videos, both the <laughs> submission and then the uh, the final one, I think actually wasn't it you, JJ, that uh, encouraged her to post those? And they were really funny. Yes. And, and I wanted to ask uh, ask you, Jen, like, have you always been creative like this? And uh, what kind of, what, what was the inspiration for uh, doing something like that? Um, I've always been fairly creative in different aspects, whether it's arts and crafts or different hobbies, that kind of thing. Um, and when it came to doing the videos, I just figured I, to bring more attention to myself, I had to do something a little outside of the box, um, because I figured most people would probably just typically do a video of themselves and repeating the story that they'd already written to you. So I figured, no, I got to go way outside <laughs> the box and be completely different. So combining that with um, my hobbies or my loves, being my bike and being a bit of a country hick kind of thing, I figured it all combined together and run with that to um, put my submission video in. And so that that and when I told Michaela, she loved the whole idea and she said, "Go for it." So that's how it came about. Great, great job with that. And uh, it was really impressive. And I, I hope that people will uh, take note of that for future challenges. I mean, obviously you don't have to be funny, but I think the more creative you are, the more it helps you stand out. And you stood out both in your submission and then the, uh, the video for the wrap up as well. It was pretty cool. Um, thank you so much, Jen. And I'd like to move on to Jesse. Now, Jesse recently did a, a graduation speech. She's um, Jesse has a substance, had substance abuse issues and she's really kind of turned herself around from an incredible past and um, now she's wanting to be um, I guess a, a peer mentor I don't know exactly what the terminology is to other people and as part of that she's had to take various classes and one of the classes that she took that she just graduated from she mentioned RBT and she held up an RBT sign and and talked about it so I, I wanted to ask her what why was 
RBT so important that you you mentioned it in this context? Um, I hope you all don't mind, but if, uh, I wrote down what I wanted to say because if not, I'd be rambling on. You did the cue music, and I wouldn't be done with like half the first question. So I hope it's okay with everyone. Um, uh, so I. I ended my speech with the RBT sign because since the first challenge that I dropped out of through the summer challenge until today, my family, which is y'all, Medical Body Transformations community, has helped me succeed, encouraged me, never gave up on me, and has showed me mad love more than my blood relatives have. I was never judged for my past, just understood, which is by far nobody's really ever been able to. Because of Radical Body Transformations community, I've been able to be me. I've gained mental, emotional, physical, and a spiritual life, which was once dead. And I feel hella sexy, too. And now I don't have to worry about what's going on down here. Too. <laughs> um, I want to let the world know that anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it. I wanted to show the world who, RPT, is partly responsible for my happiness and my stability. I want the world to know that there are real and genuine people who care about the well-being. And I wanted to show the world, I wanted to show the world how to do the damn thing. That's it. <laughs> That's awesome, Jesse. And uh, you definitely are an inspiration to others, and we really appreciate it. Thank you all very much. All Love right. you, girl. Love you. Congrats, Jess. Thanks. Uh, Lisa, um, you you overcame COVID and then you uh, you set your sights on this contest and you had specific goals based on having COVID and what you wanted to do moving forward. Can you talk a little bit about having COVID and sort of um, how you've improved since then? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I had COVID in uh, November, beginning of November, almost a year now. Um, I was in bed for 45 days, uh, very sick, uh, fought to stay out of the hospital. So my doctors took care of me um, via the phone uh, from home, sending medications and what thought, whatnot to me. And uh, Ian, who is one part of this uh, challenge, uh, was taking care of uh, myself and my daughter who were was sick as well. Um, and uh, it was hard. Like, I don't remember most of it. Um, I was really, really sick. Uh, affected my heart, my lungs, um, uh, digestion, um, everything, the fever, headaches, all of it. Um, but, you know, I thought it was going to be, thought it was going to be okay. It was really scary going into it because my doctors had said, you know, like, if you get COVID, you're not going to do well because I have asthma and whatnot. And they told me to do whatever I could to get myself strong and ready and, and healthy so that if I did get it, I would have a chance. And the I actually had done the Magnum challenge uh, in 2019 and uh, lost 50 pounds. And the doctor said that that was the one thing that saved me was losing the weight and getting healthy. Um, so yeah, so that was a, a rough one there. Um, I had to kind of learn to walk and sit and Ian taking care of me, lost 30 pounds um, in the, the four weeks in bed from not eating. Um, lot lost lost a lot of muscle that I got from the first um, challenge that I had done. Um, so it was joining this challenge was trying to get myself um, up out of bed, out of the couch, um, out of the pity me, um, you know, mentality that a lot of the COVID sufferers, uh, long haulers that have, where it's you're sick and there's no solution to it, and you just have to cope with it and um, I didn't want to be one of those people where it was just, you know, this is what I'm going to be. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be in pain. I won't be able to do this. So um, wanted to get strong, wanted to get healthy, wanted to get my muscle back, um, had to learn how to walk and talk at the same time and breathe at the same time, <laughs> which you kind of don't think you have to learn to do that. You, you take those kind of simple things for granted. Um, yeah, so doing that, um, learning to uh, overcome the pain, um, learning to not overdo uh, anything, uh, otherwise it puts me back in bed sick, 
um, sick, um, sleeping uh, for days, uh, week on end. So yeah, so my mission was to get healthy and to um, not be one of the people in my support group um, that letting COVID ruin their life for, for more than, than I have to. Well, uh, congratulations on everything you've overcome. It's incredible. And we love your before and after as well. Um, so we're going to move on to Lori. And um, Lori, you had a, a number of uh, kind of touchstones within this. One was your clothing got loose and you, you mentioned about it. And um, another th you spent your anniversary at the gym and you, and you reached a, a personal best and deadlift. Um, kind of talk about the experience uh, of these milestones that you reached. Oh, well, with the clothing, you'll have to forgive me. This is my first Zoom ever, so hopefully you can hear me all right. <laughs> um, Man, you're good. You look good too. You clear. <laughs> so with uh, the clothing, so I was laid off. I was laid off in February. Um, so I hadn't had my work pants on for until June, the middle of June. I went to put them on to go to work and I couldn't even get them on. Like, I was like, oh, sh so I had to go buy bigger pants. Nobody wants to buy bigger clothes. <laughs> um, so with the challenge, I really struggled with the scale not going down. Um, and Moko had to talk me out of it like every week. She's like, just trust the process, follow your plan. Everything's working. Your pictures are good. Um, but I only lost 13 pounds and I see everybody else losing all these huge numbers. So I didn't feel that great until I tried on my work pants and they were too big. And I thought for shits and giggles, I'd try on my uh, smaller ones that I had it on for three years and I put them on and they fit and they fit comfortably. And I couldn't even believe it because my weight hadn't really changed a lot, but obviously the inches were coming off really good. Um, as far as the, me and my husband spend a lot of time together in the gym, it's kind of uh, our thing. Seek our marriage more than once going to the gym that's a whole nother story we won't get into right now <laughs> um the deadlift so working out at home my weights go up to 100 pounds so um I kind of just got staying it there with the gyms closed and then when the gyms opened again I just started like lift getting back into the heavy weights and so I thought I tried a PR on my deadlift and I couldn't believe I did it. It was awesome. And every week is going up still. So I'm, st I'm still not there. I'll still keep going. <laughs> well, awesome, Lori. Uh, it's very impressive. And um, I think it, it's amazing that you uh, stepped out of your comfort zone to do this, including even coming on a Zoom call for the first time. Yeah, this looking at myself in a camera is really weird. <laughs> You know, well, it helps expand your horizons. It's a, it's a good thing. <laughs> um, Luann, uh, you know, we spoke to your husband and he was, he joined the contest first and then you joined. Uh, what, what was sort of it, what was it that you saw about him that made you decide that you wanted to join? Well, that's a very good question, James. Uh, so basically when, when Anthony, when I heard that he was joined, I was like, hell no, this is not for me. Um, I said, uh, you know, the reason behind that, because I, I was I'm, I was very conscious about my body. Um, I didn't, you know, when everyone, everyone hit the beach or it's time to hit the sun, I was the last one in the line. And the reason for that is because I didn't even have a bathing suit. I didn't even never less have a bikini. Um, and then I saw people, you know, posting their before and after photographs. And I said, oh, no, I couldn't do that. Um, if you'll see the last time I posted on Facebook is when my dad died. And um, so, my, so my interaction on Facebook's been very, very minimal. So um, so when I thought to myself, you know, everybody, you know, to um, post on face, so, social media, I was like, oh, wow. Anyway, um, I was weighing 158 uh, pounds. I was weighing the heaviest in my life. Um, I was at one of the lowest points in my life. Um, I was still suffering a bit from depression, being away from my family, um, having a loss of our house, our income. Um, and so, I mean, when we arrived, in, as Anthony uh, said earlier, I arrived, we arrived uh, in Ireland with just one suitcase each after having lost everything. So basically, we, you know, we had found ourselves being in a bit of a rut. I mean, we, it's, we, Anthony was always, you know, me 
was sitting behind his computer working. My son was behind his computer. And basically, I find myself, you know, being um, hugged to the bed, either sleeping or watching Netflix. So, you know, it's, we, we started falling apart the, between the two of us. Our relationship was just, you know, I mean, the int intimacy got totally lacking. And I basically, I was starting to lose my family. Sorry. So when I saw Anthony mm -hmm. sign up, he was just like this light that just, he was just like a completely different person. Just saw this light switch on and I thought to myself, and, and he, we started talking again to one another and I thought to myself, I want, I want that spark back. I want to be able to pick up where we left off, pick, you know, um, because we used to do everything together. Um, we, um, uh, we've been together since we're 17. We've been together for 31 years, uh, married 23 of those. So anyway, we started talking uh, together and spending a lot of time together talking a bunch, going over the RBT site. And, you know, when I saw people with their tra transformations and I thought to myself, you know, I can do this. I can transform myself and become a better person and a better wife, loving mom. And that inspired me. And um, so we, I signed up directly after him and I haven't regretted it since, thank you. What, what a, what a, what a success, what a matchmaking service RBT is, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's, it's an all in one service because there's people that are meeting on the platform. There's people that are getting to know each other. There's people that get to know each other and become friends and people that get to know each other a lot more intimately. And so to hear a story like that, I mean, that's inspiring for everyone on here for sure. And we appreciate you sharing all of that personal. That was awesome stuff. Thank you. Yeah, I just sure. love seeing everybody smiles. <laughs> it, 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 it's uh, it's true. Like nobody, everybody here is a winner. You know, I mean, everybody here has gone through yeah. terrible things and has a, a story to tell and a powerful journey. Um, all right, uh, Lewis. Um, now you got he he was a very like physical transformation. We didn't hear so much from him, but. And um, I know he speaks Spanish. I don't know how good his English is. But basically, he got these really amazing abs. He he was, already <laughs> <laughs> and then he uh, he he did a post uh, where he said this is a photo shoot for the next thing coming. So I kind of wanted to ask him what what that next thing coming is and what it felt like to get the abs and everything coming in. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, James. And I will try to do my best in English. So. Um... I mean, the transformation has been a, a great feeling. I think the most important thing was to take this like a decision and, and you know, from the inside to the outside and, you know, knowing this story from <clears throat> uh, Anthony Loli when I saw his documentary and I had a chance to talk with him by the phone, he, he told me something. If you are not able to control your body, you are not able to control anything. So that really marked me and I say, okay, so I know that I have the inner strength and I know I have the discipline because I have been dealing with challenges in my life and I always say I can do this and I just need to take the decision. I just go for it. So uh, this is how I, I live the process. I think I just remove the things that I didn't need in my life, like, you know, eating by impulse even that this is healthy food, right? Uh, sometimes I don't even need to eat like, you know, like a, a bunch of nuts, like every 20 minutes or something, but just because of, you know, anxiety or, or because mm -hmm. I didn't have any other th thing to do. I, I was just eating more than I, than I had to do. And uh, removing, for example, from my life, the alcohol, uh, because this is something that is not adding me any value and I started to think on these habits that are not adding, were not adding me value to my life. So I, I came with this reflection. And I think this is how also like uh, my body starts to react because it starts to get rid of 
you know, the fat and, and, and the things that I, I was not needing. And of course, part of the discipline and, and eating healthy based on, on what Mark recommended me, it was perfect. Uh, I saw the changes immediately. And I think that's why I brought back these apps that I had when I was in high school. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I was decided to, you know, to be in the best shape of my life. So that's why I think that I mentioned this in my, uh, on my video from the beginning. I want to be in the best shape of my life. Um, and as a next step, so I want to go and I, and I did it. So I feel like that. So my next step is just to, I want to compete. I want to feel this uh, competitive environment, uh, you know, being able to uh, enjoy of this process with other people. And, 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 and I want to go there. I mean, I want to be in the category of fitness model. I already talked with Mark about it. Uh, I will be taking some vacations for the second half of October, but when I just come, came back, uh, I want to start with it and, and, and go to the next level. Um, so I just want to really thank you, uh, all of you, for, for the great community that you are, for the great leaders that you are also, uh, Anthony, James, Carlos, my coach. And uh, thank you for, for inspiring so much people, so many people. And at the same time, I feel, I feel the same. I want to inspire my inner circle. I want to inspire my family, my friends. And, and I want that everybody knows how this energy that is coming through you, this, you know, to, because you, you have like a stronger spirit, you have a stronger body, you can expand it in any, a, a other areas of your life. So I think that's my answer and thank you. I think uh, uh, Lewis on our conversations that we had was about your real estate ambitions, you know, and yep. I said, I said, you want to do all of these things, but prove to yourself that you could do the one thing that's under your control and everything else will fall in place. The world is your oyster. So everybody here, don't stop at this physical transformation. Transform everything, your income, your relationships. That's what this is all about. This is just a stepping stone to the next step. The, the slogan we have, be new, it's literal. You're literally refreshing. You're, re, you're reborn. So proud of you guys. Definitely. Thank you, Tony. Well, well said, Anthony. And yeah, it's, it's amazing once you master one part of your life, how it, it translates. Okay, so the next question is uh, for Michael. I was worried he wasn't on the chat. And I thought this is the only time this guy hasn't been moving that I've ever seen him in his life. And, and that's kind of where my question was. I wanted to ask him, he's always got all this energy that's, uh, you know, just kinetic. And I, I, I wondered, if, you know, was he born with this energy? Does he have this 24 hours a day? Because every time I see this guy, he's throwing kettlebells around. He's constantly moving. And um, how he feels doing this challenge. So, Michael? Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. here, James, in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, it's 4 a.m. here. Yeah, it's 4 a.m. And I'm kind of finding a little quiet spot to kind of <laughs> not disturb the family and the neighbors. I think a few my energy vibrating through the walls. <laughs> it's that powerful. Yeah, I mean, I've always been, um, to answer your question, I've always been kind of very high level um, person, energy in terms of energy. So from my younger days, and it's, it's something that I've always had. But when I obviously train, work out, in the, you know, do physical um, exercise, it, it definitely enhances it. Um, my energy levels so it's it's just something I've always been conscious of it's like a gift and I feel it's a gift and it's something I would say uh, over the years I've kind of probably not utilized enough not projected in the right direction and not use it to help others I would say I have and I haven't and over the years it's it's service purpose where I've had fun with it but then you know as you're getting older and then, you know, you get a lot of responsibility with his family responsibilities and you have these health issues that's popped up. And then, you know, it's a, a deplete, a deplete in the energy. And then you kind of look at what's, what's, what's this having an impact on you mentally, physically, and then by obviously working out, connecting with radical body transformation 
And then everything kind of started to make sense once I started connecting back with radical body transformation, looking at my diet changes well, because that changed over the years. This food that I used to eat before I could get away with when I was younger. Now I'm older. I can't process those kind of food anymore. So, you know, just being connecting back with radical body transformation and looking at my lifestyle, changing my lifestyle. It's things I was doing before because I actually started my radical body transformation. I even have a page that I was doing before I started it. It says radical body transformation, something like that. But I wasn't, you know, achieving the goals that I wanted. And interesting, when I met Anthony in London, he said something that kind of stuck with me and still sticks with me is that he said, to me, like, you're not, you were never the finisher. And that kind of process, I don't think he actually realized how much that really affected me when he said it. And it was just done in a conversation in a general way, but psychologically, it was having an impact on me. And then I kind of took it home and I was like, hmm, he's right. There's many things I've started and I've never finished. I have this abundance of energy, I have this amazing creativity, but I've never used it to finish the things that I've started, whether it was a financial situation, whether it's a personal uh, fitness transformation, I've never done it. So now having, you know, you know, connected with radical body transformation, actually having connected with a coach and, you know, it, it all starts tying in, it all makes sense. And tying into the last conversation that Anthony just mentioned about focusing on that one thing and then you'll watch everything else, whether it's your finance, your ambitions, your goals, everything will then tie together. I mean, it's, so uh, it's, it's something I'm enjoying and it's, it's about finding your tribe for me. That's very important because uh, many of my videos I used to do before I did this transformation is I would play that lone warrior, that lone wolf. And it's only so much thing you can do alone. No man's an island kind of thing. So it's good to find your tribe and connect with similar people. And not only that, it's, it's about helping others. You finally realize you have this abundance, you have this gift, you have this energy. And it's about helping others. And over the years of me doing training, putting myself in public. I know it's uncomfortable to go out in public and people think, oh, you know, it's something you do or something people are scared to do as well. But it's good to come out of your comfort zone and you come way out of your comfort zone. You start really achieving a lot. So I get personal DM from people who are established in their own fields, whether it's professional performance. And they, some people don't publicly come out and say to me, you have inspired me. And I just realized when you put stuff on public media, uh, out there in the public mm -hmm. platform, you never know who you're inspiring you know what i mean so i get daily messages say, yeah i'm inspired by what you're doing but you know people in the background they're saying yeah keep doing what you're doing so i find that very encouraging i don't need to have like ten thousand followers i get a few people on the kind of come and say i love what you're doing and i think yeah if i inspire one person per day or month mm -hmm. that's a good thing right and that's what it's all about so and uh, in terms of the energy, um, I look at it this way right now in the world as you know everything's changed there's all this negative energy going around a lot of it daily coming at us, you know what I mean? And one, I contribute to influence me in putting that positive energy is Gary um, V, Gary Vanderchuk, those know And he used to do these things about, you know, F negativity. And so you figure, what's he talking about? You see, F negativity is a lot of it. You say, just keep putting positive energy out and just keep doing it to kind of balance things. And everything's about balance. So that's what I'm all about. It's all about health for me and just having this positive energy. You know what I mean? And I've seen it around. I'm in my 50s. A lot of people don't believe it. And, you know, that itself, I feel, is a gift. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I, I want to maintain this kind of healthy, quality body and mind that I have. So that's why I do this radical body transformation. I realize I got put in work as well. People think, oh, I just turn up and wake up and look, you know, I'm going to be 53 soon. It's something I work for as well. I have to keep it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I sit down and start eating, me, did you I'm say gonna you're, lose it. Did you say you're gonna be 53 soon? I'm gonna be 53 in January, man. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Another January. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Capricorn. You know what, yeah. Gene? Meeting meeting Michael in person, he is a ball of energy. I tell you, he really is. <laughs> and we have Michael that's in the entertainment space. You do acting, right? We have David. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ashley, Ashley and Raquel, right? You're yeah. also like, you're mainly singing, obviously, but still in the entertainment space. So it's interesting how RBT is a magnet for people yeah. that want to, you know, entertain and be out there, but really be out there as their true self, their best self. Yeah, I just want to say that the, the fact is, Michael and others have come to meet us, meet Anthony, get together with James, cooperate with filming, do all sorts of different things. Um, and uh, hold on, let me say I'm not on camera. So I, I feel like people that came to Vegas, I mean, there's a lot of effort that 
people that are on this call right now put in uh, to just, you know, getting to know us, getting to, to, to really get together, not just to come meet us, but also there's plenty of you guys that met each other. A lot of you guys, you know, from different parts of the country, even different parts of the world have come together as friends and have posted together, have done videos together, a lot of good collaboration. I mean, this is truly more than we thought it would be when we set out to make it in terms of how the community is flourishing. We are very, very proud of it. Yeah, and on that note, actually, the next person I was going to ask about this was Nietzsche, who, not in the entertainment industry, he's a, a truck driver, but he's used his truck, and uh, in, in many ways, uh, you know, being a truck driver is a very difficult occupation for getting in shape because of the difficulties working out and, and having nutrition and all this. But uh, Nietzsche has been able to turn it into a positive by meeting up with several RBT people. So I, I just wanted to ask him about that and all these journeys he's taken throughout North America, stopping in and, and meeting with different casts. Well, he might be in the entertainment space because he's looking like Benicio Del Toro a little bit, you know? <laughs> Nietzsche, you might have to unmute yourself. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for everything, guys. Um, management out there at RBT, well, tremendous work, guys. So, being a truck driver um, was actually uh, what helped me uh, transform uh, a little faster than than what I would when I was back home. Back home, I had my family, I had my supports, I had my wife, my children, but uh, but I had to uh, I had to share my nutrition with them, so. It was getting costly feeding them the healthy food, the food that I was eating, which was okay though, because they got the benefit from that. But when I was on the road, I thought, well, hey, I thought one day I was looking at the RBT site, the uh, the Facebook page, and I thought, well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to California, so why don't I put this out there? Maybe you know, let some someone know I'm I'm going to be making my way down to to California. I'll be heading down to, I think I was, I was going through Vegas and I was going to go hit Los Angeles. So I kind of, I kind of made a post saying, Hey guys, listen, if anybody's, you know, up to it, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to work out with you guys. And the first time, it, the first time around, it didn't really work out, but, uh, it, I happened to meet other RBT members. Um, uh, some of them that didn't, didn't actually make, uh, the top 20, but, you know, it was pretty tough and, and, uh, they actually showed me, uh, where, what gyms to find and what gyms to go work out with, where I can pull my rig around and get to it. So I started pulling, I started pulling into these, uh, these gyms and I just pull right up to the front and I just parked there and I grabbed my gear, no care in the world. I'm going to go work out anyway. So if I get a ticket, I get a ticket, whatever, <laughs> but, uh, nutrition wise, well, I hit up a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, the major, you know, like Walmarts and all that stuff where, where, where they can fit my, my, uh, semi. So, and I went and picked up a barbecue, a portable barbecue. And I, and I prepped, I started prepping my food out there. I'd be barbecuing steaks and chickens, uh, salmon. And, and, I, and I go and buy a big cooler that I could plug into my truck. So I kept all my prep food ready and waiting for me to go. So it became easy and I, I adapted. So it, it was quite a challenge, but I adapted and it got easier. So it actually, it was the best thing that ever happened for me because I got to meet a lot of people that I wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have met. And I'm really grateful for, for the ones that I have met. And I know there's about three or four that made the top 20 here that I met. <laughs> so but, but who are some of the names that you met? I know you met David. Who else did you meet? I met uh, the North, uh, what, Helen, I think. JJ. Name, David, David, JJ, yeah, Florida. Uh, I was hoping to meet more of the, more of the, the Florida girls, but it uh, didn't work out either. But I met uh, Lisa from Olympic. So, matters, back. I can't, I can't name offhand right now. It's just, you know, it's. Wait, I know you met Jack. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, Jack and David. Very, uh, 
very fun guys to uh, to work out with. It was like we knew each other way back when, you know. It was it was all jokes right off the bus. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. awesome. D didn't you meet Lisa too? Yeah, I met Lisa in Winnipeg when uh, when the gyms opened up. We were able to we were able to get together and, and work out a few times actually. So now every time I go to Winnipeg, I, I give her a call or I send her a, a message and say, "Hey, I'm coming into town. Let's let's go work out." So it's kind of it's awesome. You're, you're like the RBT glue that keeps everybody together here. You're <laughs> connecting yeah. everybody one way or the other. And uh, so the next person I want to ask a question from is Pearl. And Pearl, believe it or not, is a grandmother. And uh, she posts on her personal Facebook about RBT almost every single day while well, her journey with RBT. So I wanted to ask her what her experience has been with um, you know, co-workers, friends, relatives, the people that frequent her page, you know, and, ha you know, she's changed so drastically in the, the past few weeks and what kind of feedback she's gotten. Well, um, for the last year and a half, I've been working out of the house because usually I'm in the field visiting nursing homes. Um, so a lot of my co-workers have seen me on the Zoom and I think one or two have asked me if everything's okay with me because last year I had surgery and I had a medical issue going on. So I think they might think that it might be something related to that. So I just said that I started a challenge and I have a coach and I have um, my nutrition has changed and I've been um, working out. I've had a couple of people then reach out to me and private message me regarding um, what am I doing, that I'm looking great and that I'm looking stronger or younger. I like that one, younger. <laughs> um, my husband, he's like, because for the last seven years I tried, it's not the lack of working out for me personally, it's more the nutrition. Um, part of it for me. Uh, my husband can't keep his hands off of me. So, I, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, buddy. Um, but in general, just having other women and men just um, asking me what it is that I'm doing and uh, can I share the program with them? So I usually let them know about MoCo and I let them know about RBT and just share that information. But I said, for me, the accountability was really important. Uh, me knowing that every week I'm accountable and I'm asked, answering certain questions because with MoCo, it wasn't just so oh, submit the, the weight and that's it. She was very specific on how you're sleeping and just other information. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Pearl, uh, for sharing all of that. And um, we're, you're we'll welcome. thank we'll, you uh, all for we'll, setting we'll this your, up we'll, and all the support. We'll tell your hu husband to settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've always had a nice relationship. So, yeah, I'm just like, okay, buddy. <laughs> the downsides of RBT. Okay, so uh, Raquel, I wanted to ask you, um, and by the way, Raquel did a, an incredible submission video that she edited together, and I believe that she said she didn't want me to share that, which is unfortunate, or maybe she can edit it in such a way that we can share it, because a lot of hard work went into it, and it, it would really be a shame if, if it wasn't shared at some point. But um, Raquel also, as uh, was mentioned, is a singer, and you know she she's lost an incredible amount of weight over time, and I wanted to ask her about how that's, you know, impacted her confidence going on stage and doing her singing and all the social media things and stuff she does now. Cool. Thank you so much, James. So, um, yeah, I've sang since I was young and I always knew that I could sing, but I didn't always have the confidence when taking that mic and stepping onto the stage. So I was a bigger woman for a good part of my life. And so... You know, I didn't fit into the clothes that I wanted to wear, or I didn't feel comfortable sometimes even in my own skin. And when you're a performer and entertainer, although, you know, you can sing when you're in front of a huge crowd, you also want to feel good about how you look. And that always didn't really match. So in addition to that, 
you know, um, being larger and stuff, I'd get a little bit more winded on stage. So I didn't also feel comfortable moving around um, as much and dancing, so to speak. So through my fitness journey and, you know, there is, of course, the weight loss that takes that takes place and you see the physical transformation, but mental health is also really, really huge. Right. And in addition to, you know, not having the confidence, I think some of that also stemmed with some anxiety that I've experienced um, over the years. I do have panic disorder and I think it's important to speak about um, mental health because I think the more we bring awareness, um, we can, you know, help with strength and encouragement to others. So my confidence started increasing as well. The anxiety started decreasing. And now I'm really proud to say that when I get on stage and I take that mic, I'm able to pick out an outfit and be like, oh my God, I can wear this. I went from wearing XXL or XL and now I can finally realize I can go into a store and pick a size small. And that took forever. I'd, bu I'd buy clothes and I'd have to go return them just thinking I'm still bigger mentally, that mental piece there. And now with going on stage as well, I have more stamina to move around. So it kind of all really works together, the physical and the mental um, connection for sure. And it's been a really, really amazing experience. I'm really proud to represent uh, Team MoCo. And I just also wanted to congratulate all of the top 20 finalists, you are all incredible. You have all done, you know, your own amazing journeys. And I like to say it's, you know, physical, mental, as well as spiritual. And also a big thanks to my coach Mocha, as well as to James, Carlos and Anthony. Of course, you guys are just stellar. And I've been absolutely um, honored to be um, a part of this. So thank you so much. Well, and if we had more time, I'd ask you to sing that to us, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and the other thing too is, sorry, I missed part of your question. Uh, I, I will try to wrap it up so I don't get the music playing, um, but with social media as well. So, you know, um, one day, like I didn't post all the time. And then one day I started posting and people started asking, oh, are you sick? Are you anorexic? Are you not eating? And there's like that negative thing going on as well too. Like people judge. And it's like, whoa, wait, what? And I've heard that from other people too. So I want, you know, I've experienced as well, but then you also get people who are like, wow, you look amazing. What are, what are you doing? I follow you every day. And, you know, I would jog and just give little words of wisdom because I found it very meditative for me. And then people start reaching out and asking you questions as well as letting you know that you've given them a glimmer of hope or a glimmer of inspiration. And that is truly amazing all on its own, right? So I talk about the RBT community as a family, a fit family, and all of your stories have just been truly all unique in their own way and just inspirational. And you all just so show such strength and beauty. And I tell that to people, right? And I always big up coach Moko because as I always like to say, she sleeps, eats, breathes, and sweats fitness. And it's just been really, really remarkable. Um, so I just wanted to add that in. Thank you. So funny how people always comment that you're losing weight and what's wrong with you sick, but they don't say anything when you're getting fat and you're gaining weight. There's like bums the word there, you know? Yeah. It's super mm -hmm. like <laughs> weird and interesting that way too. Right. So Anthony, yeah. you're not from the South. They do in the South. My mother will always say, honey, you're getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in the South, they say, honey, you're getting fat. You, you really need to tone it down. So no, no, no. It's, it is, in the South, it's completely different. Yeah, I guess, I guess body shaming really happens in various types of ways. And I think it's really special that all of us here are encouraging others because beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, but when we are giving it our best and we feel great in our skin and we've become healthier, like I said, spiritually, mentally, um, physically, then that's, that's truly amazing. Right. Well, Raquel, I have to say, um, your watching you was very, very inspiring to me because I would see you run and you would always smile and you would always just you would just, it, it was like when you were running, your whole body would light up. And I don't know if you ever seen that or if others seen it, but you know, I always saw that with you and, and I, you know, and if anyone was ever saying that, you know, and you know, I grew up singing first and your, your first, your first name is my middle name. So, oh, cool. um, Look at that. <laughs> so, you know, as a performer, it is hard when you don't feel 
everything is right about yourself, if there's something off, you're not going to give your hundred percent. Okay. And, 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 I, and I, I don't normally speak when others are speaking, but I completely understand that side of it. And, you know, and as I have gained a lot of weight myself, cause I was always a size, I was opposite. I was always a size four and gaining all this weight because of MS and, and really personal issues with um, family and, 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 and emotional stuff myself. I completely understand. Okay, the shut up music me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> right, right, guys. I just wanted to say you were fabulous. Thank you very much. Okay, next up is Rebecca. And um, she, she's had some very difficult times in her life. And one of the issues is um, she's really had to realize, you know, people that are in her corner and stuff like that. And I, I wanted to kind of ask her that, um, you know, what she's realized in terms of self-confidence and stuff like that for the future and going forward change my question after I've been thinking about it. <laughs> how, do, how did I phrase it before? Go, go with what I sent you. Uh, well, uh, you just kind of talked to me about RBT and um, how being true to myself and unafraid and um, obstacles and people not getting in my way. Well, that's a better way to phrase it. So let's go with that. But um, yeah. That was earlier in the night when I was more sharp. <laughs> um, so for me, uh, this is my first challenge and I joined RBT in March, not really um, knowing all what I was getting myself into, like I wasn't aware of the community. Um, I am from a small town, so I knew um, Coach Michaela and I'd seen some of her uh, stuff and her, her um, journey. And um, I saw a post about this opportunity with RBT and I had already kind of started um, my own weight loss when COVID happened because like somebody else said, um, you know, I was scared of dying. I had been through a lot, you know, all of a sudden there was COVID happening and I knew that if I didn't change and cope in some positive way that it could go this way or that way. So RBT um, came into my life um, at a great time and then um, this challenge and I, I kind of knew Magnum from um, my own weight loss journey before, so I could trust in that. And then I knew Michaela had all this experience. So I just, I kind of came in not knowing, but in faith that as long as, you know, I was putting my trust in the process because I definitely didn't. And, um, you know, there was lots of obstacles and things that got in my way but it, it I, I just, I didn't give up. I'd already seen that if I was consistent and stuck with something and RBT made it so easy because everything was laid out for me, right? All I had to do was make that time and make myself the priority and commitment and um, show up. And that, um, that part of the time was a hard part of the challenge and then also you know, not feeling bad for taking that time. And, um, you know, as a single, as a single parent um, and just a caretaker in general, I've never really learned to look after myself in healthy ways. It was always self-harming and, you know, I struggled with addiction and depression and anxiety. So I was always trying to change how I felt or, you know, uncomfortable with myself. And so this journey has just been really, really fun and interesting to just, you know, to feel good, to take something that I used to dread and have excuses for and think that, oh, like, you know, I can't walk up a hill because I have asthma. No, I couldn't walk up a hill because I wasn't doing anything. And um, I just, I really enjoyed that journey of, you know, pushing myself out of the comfort zone, like there's that mental and that physical um, pain. And for me, you know, I, I'm so used to feeling uncomfortable that the physical pain and the workouts to me to uh, get to a solution and to have somebody that I can look in the mirror at and uh, like who I see was, you know, it was uh, priceless and 
you know, like I'd said at the beginning in my video, to me, just making that commitment to uh, do the challenge, it didn't really matter if I win or lose or, you know, I, I was surprised I placed in the top 20 and almost crying because I wanted to give up because it wasn't, it didn't go the way that I pictured it. But, you know, it's, it's the moving forward and not giving up. And, you know, it doesn't matter what happened today. It's what I do tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But yeah, I hope to answer. Well, th thank you, Rebecca. Yeah. And uh, you do have a very inspiring story and we're glad that you stuck with us. I'm glad to be here. I'm not going anywhere, so. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. And uh, up next is Tamika, who has a, also a very interesting story. Um, Tamika from Australia. I, I wanted to ask uh, what losing weight with the impact has been, not just on you, but on your family and kind of talk a little bit about that. Yeah, can you see me? We can. Yeah, yeah awesome. Um, first, I wanna say thank you to everyone. And what a big privilege it is just to know all of you. It's like, I feel like I'm, talking and meeting celebrities so <laughs> that's how I feel about you these are all, all these are all awesome even those that didn't make the top 20 like you guys seeing your journeys are so motivated and so positive like it's like what Michael said there's so much negative energy in the world and having like I didn't I didn't think that RBT would come with their own, our own personalized community that just like I'm bouncing off your energy right now. You are beautiful and I'm so privileged to, to meet you all and to know you all. So you should all be very proud of yourself. And um, the impact it's made for me is, oh, the biggest part was mentally. So um, basically I made a decision to lose weight last year to um, be a kidney donor for my sister because I was just sick of, she's 30 years old, 31 years old. She's got a um, one daughter, she's a single mum. Her daughter is the same age as my daughter. I've got three daughters and she's 13. And my sister's always in and out of you. She's, we nearly lost her last year. And every time I see her, she's always connected to tubes and she's always getting sick. And, you know, she, she can't stand up for long. Um, she has to sit down. She's got no energy. Um, and I just thought, you know, this sucks. Like, I don't want to see you like that anymore. It's not fair. So I'm blessed with my babies and I wanted to lose weight to give her another chance at life. Um, I struggled last year and I couldn't get there. And then since I've started in January and, and had the privilege of meeting you all, um, I only... Only last week, I got the okay from the specialist, a renal specialist, that he's sending the report to my sister specialist to say that I am ready as a kidney donor. So I, my biggest thing was losing the kilos to get my BMI down. Um, mm. Last year, other big impact is last year I did a blood test and I had all these health risk factors. And I did a blood test last week. And he said, all my um, results are normal. And I'm like, really, really healthy. <laughs> so, so thank you. So, you know, you all inspire me. You inspire me every day to keep going. So thank you. And um, the big thing that was, I think, at, in Christmas last year, oh, my, we, took, we, took, um, we took my sister to the beach and she had, we had to pull a wheelchair out onto the beach so that she could sit on it and watch her, my niece swim and, and play. And that just hit me and I said, no, you're not mm. doing that. If I can, if I can give, if I can give you one, I'm going to give you one. Mm. And yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we're getting there, you know, but the thing is, it's so much negative energy in the world and, and news are so amazing that you just show it doesn't matter what you're going through you know just just keep going because you're going to get there you can get to anywhere you want to get if you put your mind to it and the beauty of rbt is that it's all these beautiful people that you are warriors you have been through so much stuff in your life and you're still getting up and you're still putting that foot in front of the other so it doesn't matter how how you know about 
how hard you fall. It's what you do to get back up and you're so inspiring. So thank you. And one more thing, big, big shout out to my coach, Mogo. Um, I struggled with mental health. I was on really high anxiety tablets and depression tablets. And I'm now off that. She said to me that, you know, if you're um, in a, if you're in a plane and it's going down, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to go put the oxygen mask on your loved ones first or are you going to put it on yourself? And she said, what you got to remember is that you need to put it on yourself first before you can help anyone else. And that stuck with me because it's right. How, how can you be there for anyone else if you don't look after yourself? So you need to start loving yourself and, and putting your health first. And that's what RBT has done for me. And, and thank you. Awesome, Tamika. That's an incredible story. And uh, mm -hmm. last but not least, uh, Terrell. Um, am I saying that right, by the way? Is Terrell here? <laughs> Hope you're here, Terrell. Oh, yeah, he was having issues at work. Does anybody know right. if he's still on? Let me see. No, he's not on anymore. Okay. Well, we will get to him later if he happens to come on. Mm. So, so what do you guys so in a couple of weeks we'll make the announcement of the winners? It's been fun, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, actually, uh Carlos is mess, messing with you. We're we're thinking about just giving the awards away right now. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Now, I have some ground rules for this. Um, number one, I mean, you heard everybody's story and um, there's a lot of intense things. And we outlined last week the four criteria. And as I stated, everybody here is gonna get a prize. So it's gonna be awesome no matter what. But obviously there's different categories of winners that we have to break down. So I, I don't want anybody here to be a sore loser, so to speak, or to have any negativity or, um, you know, because it's a tough choice as a, you know, that the judges all have to make. And um, you heard all these incredible stories and it, it just comes down to, you know, the criteria that has to be followed. So, you know, a lot of times when people don't place the way they think they should, it's, it's very hard emotionally. So I would just ask if, if that would be something you can't handle, you can get off the call, but if you stay on the call, please compose yourself and, and don't disrespect anybody else on the call. I know it kind of goes without saying, mm -hmm. but it is hard sometimes. Sometimes I, even in the last challenge, uh, when we were announcing the winners, you could see the reaction on other people's faces and stuff like that. You know, like it could show that they didn't think it, you know, they'd roll their eyes or something like that. And, and I just don't want that kind of thing to happen because of all of the powerful stories that we have here. And, and someone like Michaela will tell you the greatest champions in the world <laughs> sometimes didn't even place, right, Michaela? Like the biggest yeah. bodybuilding champions out there, the ones that we're looking at in fitness and bikini champions, they didn't even place. So you, whatever is meant to be will always be, and it's always a stepping stone to the next chapter, you know? Yeah, and so even, even in your chat, even in, even in your competitions, Ant, how many oh, I mean, think about it. The documentary alone was about me winning the worlds in this tra in transformation. That was the whole thing, you know? And I really went all out. And guess what? At the Worlds, I didn't win the, the first place in transformation, but I ended up getting my pro card, uh, which is now a stepping stone to uh, continuing to compete as a pro. So everything is, whatever's meant to be will always be. And that everything happens for a reason in life. That's what I've noticed. When you're on the right path and you're on this mission, it's a, it's a forever thing. This is not just let me win now and that's it. Like this is a stepping stone to maybe someone, the, the, the world is telling you to keep going, to work harder, you know? So uh, everyone's on a different journey, everyone's, a, but you're all winners. That's, that's the most important thing. And it doesn't end here, you have to keep going. That's the most important. Right, and uh, as mentioned last week, we have the legacy thing now, which is people can continue on. And, um, you know, there's new uh, competitions, there's a competition that we're putting together right now that's gonna start in October for the fall and um, we have the legacy thing where you can continue over time. And you know, the thing is when you do this and you see why other people win and stuff like that, it, it helps prepare you for the future as well. So I would encourage you to stick with things. And there's a lot of people 
who maybe aren't the type of people that would win this transformation, but would win the legacy. So I would definitely um, continue on. And we're gonna, it's kind of interesting because I, I, I wanna shout out the sponsors for this. So Magnum, of course, Magnum Supplements. And um, you know, some of the prizes include supplement prizes. And um, we also have, um, so Julianne Paulson, uh, you know, is donating pendants. And actually based on, I, I shared some of the videos and stuff like that with her. And uh, so she's got pendants that she's giving out. And we'll, we'll talk about that uh, in, this, in this taping today, but uh, she went from five to seven pendants. So she's giving out uh, seven overall. And um, which, you know, I'm very thankful for. And, uh, you know, talking with Carlson Anthony, you know, they came up with a little bit more prize money to increase the overall amount that we're giving, giving away. And um, we're getting a little bit more generous with some of the things from the RBT market that we're doing and some special things with that. So it's going to be an, an exciting chat, but, you know, obviously not every person can place first place or whatever it is. So, you know, I just uh, be aware. And, you know, if anybody has any questions after the fact on why you place the way you place, you know, I can answer you the best I can if you want to just message me privately. Um, but, you know, it, it's pretty clear with kind of that four criteria, it should give you some idea on how people do. And um, like I said, it's always a very hard decision and we have to add up the points and kind of come together with things. So we have some different sort of um, different things that we're giving away for different categories. And just because you might win a category, it's kind of like the Academy Awards, ironically, uh, doesn't mean that you might not also place in something else in the future. But it doesn't mean you will in the future either in the other categories, so if, if you get what I'm saying. So, so one of our, um, I'm joined with the beautiful Michelle here now. And um, what, one of the- uh, so Anthony and I match. <laughs> yes, of course. This is some of the new uh, camo gear, blue camo gear from the, the uh, market. rbtshow.com. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry, rbtmarket.com. rbtmarket.com. So uh, this is a specific category. So we're going to go selectively one by one through these different categories and give out prizes. And we're going to describe what the prizes are. So are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Okay, last thing. Do you want, do you want the dramatic uh, music here for the added tension? Yes or no? No. No? Not the, not the <laughs> 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 yeah. Dang. Yes. I'm sorry, I've been hydrating a lot. Um, can you just give me like a one minute intermission so I can use the bathroom? I, I don't want to miss this special moment. <laughs> I'll get in here. Get it, girl. Okay, one minute intermission. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the same thing real quick. I'm not like- All right, All right. Like, we'll take an intermission for everybody. I think I'll do that too. I, <laughs> I'm just gonna take the laptop into the bathroom, but turn the camera <laughs> off and mute it. Wait, the volume. Okay. 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 You guys are in my dressing room. So I just changed clothes. <laughs> I mean, it was just like I needed some like comfort for a minute. Out of nowhere, and replacing your winning second, third place, stuff like that. We try to inspire and make a shift in the world. All right, so Saturday, uh, July, July 3rd, 3rd, in about 24 hours, we're going to be on stage. So we'll do it.
figured I'd just give some entertainment while we waited. <laughs> so that's the latest video on Anthony's, on Anthony's YouTube channel. It's about uh, his uh, experience over in, in Manchester. That was a good yeah. video. Yeah, I mean, though, for those of you that are thinking about competing uh, on, a, on the large stage, uh, myself, James, and Carlos are putting something together with some of the federations that Therese and I built a relationship with throughout our journey of competing. So uh, we'll make that segue for you guys. And it's uh, if you want to learn what it's like to go through that process, just watch the videos on the YouTube channel uh, because it's an amazing process to really get yourself there. You know, just the, the kind of thing that if you really want to beat your food problem, your food addiction, get on a prep because that's the best way to just knock mm -hmm. it out. Um, going through a prep. And even if it's not for a competition for stage, even if it's just for that photo shoot, just get photo shoot lean. A lot of things happen when you do that. Um, first of all, you really learn the next level of discipline because you already got to this point and some of you have a little bit more to go, but if you take it to the next level, 100%, you'll annihilate any food problems you have. You'll understand everything. And most importantly, if you want to continue to build and develop your body, you're going to really see what's under the hood. When you get lean, you get to really see what muscles you want to develop, so. you know, and, uh, and you really don't know what you don't know unless you get to that certain body fat percentage. Uh, and then you're going to fall in love. Then it's going to be a great addiction. You're going to say, I need to build bigger glutes, bigger <laughs> hamstrings, you know, calves, thighs, shoulders, whatever it is. Um, and now you're going to lift with, a different passion, a different lift with a different purpose. And, uh, and I say this all the time, a lot of people renovate and upgrade their kitchens, their homes, their floors, their moldings. You're just going to work and upgrade your body for the rest of your life. And, you know, you can get on season, off season and continue to build. And this part takes time because this is next level. Cause a lot of you guys, the compliments are going to stop because there's only so many times people are going to tell you, wow, you look great. You know, wow, this, and it's going to slow down. And you're going to say, what's going on here? So you're going to have to take your body to the next level. And at that point, it's, it's, there's no longer going to be a huge wow factor because you've already done that when you did the transformation. Now it's just wowing yourself to see what you can take. And, and you're like a sculptor and really just building your aesthetics the way you want. And your energy is going to go through the roof to the next level. So I, I really encourage you guys to, at the very least, get photo shoot lean, but for those of you that want to compete, you know, we'll get together with your coaches and, and discuss a good plan, uh, what shows you want to do and how you want to segue uh, and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's really an amazing thing to, to compete. I, I encourage everybody to do it. And if you have any questions while we're waiting, you can ask. James, you there? Because uh, it's been way more than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way ashley i didn't know that much of your background i kind of knew about it but james is not even on with the with oh, the music i think mean, you know we're trying to put together a, a a score for the the part two to the documentary the docuseries okay so we definitely want to speak and meet in person i know we've been talking about working out in lic but we'll we'll definitely do that yeah, and, well, we're, like we live pretty, like we're not too far from each other, so. I know, I know, I know. So we'll definitely get together and we'll chat more on that stuff, so. Totally. You know. Um, well, and it's funny because you can, I, I really don't, I really don't like to film up here because I don't like to have Frank's awards behind me, cause, but I, it's that chair downstairs is so uncomfortable. I just keeping it in the dark, but um and i keep bringing una into the shot because she's a uh, she's my walking buddy and she just likes a lot of attention <laughs> are we are we ready for the uh, awards james um terrell is back i don't know oh hey guys i'm back sorry to jump off oh okay so we got a last question for you by the well we your only question <laughs> are you able to answer a question if not we can just do the awards oh yeah, oh, yeah i can answer it now i'm back for a little bit okay yeah, so um my question to you was uh you've been posting 
more and more kind of coming out of your shell and your last uh, post you one of the last posts was kind of about the uh the man girl thing that you had and i just wanted to ask you about like uh how the community has kind of really helped you open up and and be so vulnerable about all these details well uh, i'm kind of i'm usually pretty reserved uh, don't like posting too many things about myself and uh throughout the whole competition I was talking to my wife and she and yeah, she, she would see what was going on throughout everybody else posting and just yeah, telling everybody it. how their lives are going. And I figured that it was to be, uh, be the best with a supportive group like it is and being able to try to come out of my shell, which I did. And it really, just seeing everybody being supportive, uh, it really helped me out. It really gave me the opportunity to kind of express myself and try to, Try to make myself feel a little bit better by myself instead of not being so so just closed off on everything so that's that's one thing about the group that i really enjoyed and seeing everybody being so so supportive and nobody nobody was uh they're just everybody is supportive about it so that's about it awesome and yeah with the and with the man and with the man girdle yeah that was that was something I was very insecure of myself for a while. And now that I'm seeing myself, how I've tra changed, I'm not worried about it anymore. I know I've, I've changed a lot with physical appearance and then also uh, just mentally now uh, doing this. And I, I, I really appreciate you guys on RBT. And y'all are very, very supportive. And non judgmental. Um, from Carlos and I used to have an inside joke. We'd say, "Is it cat suit time?" Because we used to put on a cat suit. It's like wow. a cat suit, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, non. Everybody being non judgmental. That's what really helped me out and uh, being able to come out of my shell and just talking to my wife about it. And she's she was very supportive of, of me also. So thank you guys. Well, we love that about RBT. Just one of the things and. You know, I had mentioned Terrell uh, before we took a little uh, break that we're going to give uh, surprises out today. Oh, great. Uh, sit tight. And um, so Michelle's going to talk about our first category. So also, Terrell, we mentioned that there's various categories. And just because a name is said in one category doesn't mean they can't also win a, another category. But we just asked everybody to be respectful no matter how they place. Um, not to have any negative energy or whatever, because everybody here has really poured their heart out. So, so with that, I'll turn it over to Michelle to uh, announce the uh, first category. Okay. Hi, everyone. I've been listening to everybody and it's emotional. So I'm going to, I'm going to say the name. I'm going to talk a little bit about what the person won. So first of all, all the names that I'm going to say that I'm in charge of have to do with prizes for social media involvement and community spirit awards. And what these particular prizes will be, okay, each person will receive a customized RBT bomber jacket that I will customize for you. You can choose the color, we can put your favorite saying, we can put hottest GMA ever on it, wh whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I made a uh, tank top for, Pearl the other day like that. Um, it's also going to include a few other things of your choice and, and it can be flexible. It could be um, a water resistant backpack. It could be some more clothing. Really it's flexible as to like what you might need. So if you need some more leggings, shorts, whatever it is, there's a lot of new items coming through with the fall collection as well. So the value is probably about, I would say about $150. So by the time we add everything up, could be a little more, depends on what you pick. So, you know, we won't be picky right to the last do dollar. So the first person to win something is a community spirit award. And this is for David. So David Shorman, yes, um, his motivational messages really helped others. And I know a lot of people really appreciated the time he took to really just talk to people and really help people. So David's the first one. The second mm. one is for also community spirit and this goes to Tamika. And oh. the reason that I, I wanted to give something to Tamika is 
you were on a completely different time zone, like completely different than <laughs> anyone else. So most of the time, if I was up at four or five in the morning, that's usually when you were up. <laughs> I would see you commenting and liking things and posting. You were really active as well on Instagram. You were always sure to tag everybody. So that is also why you are receiving a prize. Okay. So yay, Tamika. Um, no, so, sorry to interrupt. Um, Carlos, how come it's not on Michelle when she talks? Or is that just how I see it? No, I see Michelle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. You can see Michelle. Okay. You got to make it the full screen, James, instead of the grid view. Got it. Thank you. Okay. It doesn't matter anyways. Okay. Third person. So the third person is somebody who is really, get it, really funny, entertaining and positive. And that goes to Amanda Holly. If you have not seen her Instagram, you have got to get on her Instagram, even within the community, she'll try and sometimes repost. She is funny, like out loud. Sometimes I'd be watching it in the middle of the night and I would start laughing. James like, what are you laughing at? I said, oh, you have to see Amanda's latest reel. Like she, she has great like sounds and voiceovers and music, really great. So congratulations, Amanda. All right, the next person who receives a I would say like a community spirit and an involvement award for really opening up, um, becoming more consistent. And it goes along with what he said in um, the answer uh, as he was talking to James is Terrell. Um, that his, if you really, what you have to understand is I, we can track um, everybody's social media involvement from the very beginning, we can go back, we can look and see how often they posted, we can look and see what they have posted. And he really opened up. And that says a lot when someone's able to do that. When he talks about being reserved, I think we all had that feeling and, and we, he did a few posts. I mean, they really, really struck home for I think a lot of people. All right, the next person is a person who really did well using all the templates we provided. Um, she really used a variety of templates, had some interesting photos, and this went to Lori, Lori Brower. So Lori, I know you've had your eye on clothing. Every time I post yes, something, I you're know. like, oh, I like that. <laughs> so this will be fun. I know you'll really enjoy that. Thank you. Okay. The next person is someone who tended to do a, had a lot of social media presence in Instagram. Um, she did a lot of posts um, and stories with her running, giving words of advice as she was running. And that is Raquel. Awesome job, Raquel. Um, we're gonna we're gonna pick out a really awesome dress for you to wear for your next uh, singing show, which I'm go I am going to be coming to Burlington one of these times and I'm gonna surprise her and be in the audience. I, can't I love that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you sing. All right, the next person is someone who, and again, we look at everything was the, the person who was most active on their personal Facebook feed. So not only was this person active in the community, but also within really trying to motivate people in, and acquaintances and coworkers in her life. And that is Pearl. Oh. Ready Pearl to do that Thank customized you. bomber jacket saying hottest GMA, hottest grandma ever. <laughs> All right, Thank next you. person is someone who is new to this challenge very new to the community, but I'm telling you within 48 hours, we all knew who she was. She was commenting, super friendly. That is Lisa. So congratulations, Yay. Lisa. I, we all feel like we've known you for much longer than just this challenge. All right, next person is the person who had the most diverse posts in terms of locations, um, really, met up with other people, really tried to take the RBT community out into, you know, the world, into North America. And that is Nietzsche Neal. Woohoo! So there we have tons of pictures of, of him meeting with other people. All right. Next person is a social media uh, involvement award. Someone who just impressed us so much with her videography skills, uh, involving other people as well really trying to bring people together, um, did some amazing videos, did an awesome video of Las Vegas, and that goes to Erica. 
So Erica, you'll be getting this dress. <laughs> Not this one I'm wearing, but <laughs> whatever you want. All right. Um, next person. Again, so many of you are just oh, such amazing um, community members and promoters and brand ambassadors. Um, just really, really um, amazing to see you all. All right. Michael Patterson was, let's be honest, the most energetic videos ever. I mean, there'd be times that I wouldn't feel like working out and I'd watch the video and I'd think, oh my gosh, I need to go. I'm going. Well, but, <laughs> <for a run. laughs> but also not just energetic. When we looked at the, the stats, I mean, this guy commented, wrote yes. about, mentioned RBT. Yes. I mean, we looked closely at this stuff and it was like, incredible how much he really really promotes he the brand really and does engaged. it genuinely yeah he really engaged with many people in the community often and and reacted often too so he wasn't just posting for of him he actually really engaged with others all right next person is someone who posted every single day on instagram and within the community um had one of the highest comment in terms of commenting in terms of reaction like reacting her reactions were sometimes up to 80 a day um all positive and um we all know her is jesse woohoo jesse yes, okay i got two more so the next person is someone who really promoted rbt in different creative ways um really was great with photography um, made RBT heels, made an RBT bikini, um, really as well was one of the top commenters and posters within the community. And that is JJ. Woo! Yay. And the last person to receive a social media involvement community spirit award is the person who had the most comments the most total reactions, the most posts, the most videos, oh the ultimate motivator, hands down. Yes. Everybody <laughs> knows him. Yes. Everybody stand knows up, him. Is Jack. Can we all say it out? Woo, Jack, <laughs> fun. Woo, where's Jack? Can we see? Yes. Jack. I'll show you Jack. Hold on, hold on. One second. Here's Jack for everyone to see. Bang. Look at Woo, that. <laughs> So muted, and I, 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 I want to stress something. It is not just because he owns an entire wardrobe of RBT clothing. <laughs> he, he, there were day his average amount of comments and reactions. There you go. <laughs> his average amount of comments and reactions per day during the challenge was anywhere from like 20 to 45. There were some days that he commented uh, more than a hundred times <laughs> on other people's posts. And I, I think we can all agree that, I mean, he was, he was behind everybody and he helped push everybody. So um, congratulations, Jack. Jack, That's don't worry. There's a lot more items that you still don't own. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, have fun. we'll have fun customizing it. I love uh, it. Um, that is my part. I'm going to hand it over to James now. Congratulations to all of you. Thank You're you, all winners. Sarah. And I can't wait to be in touch with you all. DM me and we will start customizing what you want. I'm really excited to do that for you. So yay. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> by, by the way, did you guys expect that we do the awards tonight? Was that like, did you suspect that? Did you know it? Were you like thinking... <laughs> Totally I think it's a total up. surprise. I wasn't expecting it at all. Yeah, it is a surprise. So we didn't even know till today. We hadn't made the final decision till today. Well, so, surprise. <laughs> Massive surprise. Love so it. The, Love so it. The, <laughs> the next Love category it. is kind of the opposite. And uh, there's people that <laughs> underwent a very dramatic uh, transformation but maybe didn't do as much in terms of the uh, social media posting. So we describe this as best transformations without social media component. And um, so the winners of this also get, what was the prizes for this, Michelle? Same as, same as the other one. Bomber jacket, stuff from the market, 150, 
Okay, so the same prizes. So you get the bomber jackets and an additional item up to 150. So um, I have uh, three people in this category. And um, again, this is like strictly the before and after. And, um, and, and it's something where it's, you know, well, I'll just uh, announce them one at a time and I'll kind of talk about each of them. So the first one is uh, Lewis. And uh, Lewis, as you could see in the community, he did a, an amazing post where he, he showed his before and after. And this is completely verified. First of all, he worked with Coach Mark, but also um, he was constantly sending in updates and stuff like that the entire process. And uh, the way that he went into and then transformed and you can see his abs and everything in the after shot is an incredible transformation. And, um, you know, Lewis is somebody that, you know, English isn't his first language and he wasn't completely up on the rules at first in terms of posting. He's really picked it up the past few days or whatever, but he wasn't doing that initially, but we didn't want to leave him uh, out in the cold because he did really change his body and, and went through that process. Yes. So Lewis, you're you're the the first winner of that. Thank you. Uh, the second winner of that is uh, Anthony, and uh, Anthony also went through a, a a dramatic. There we go. There's the abs live. The a dramatic transformation, and uh, Anthony did not post that much. Um, he's been posting the past few days and has really brought it. And uh, like I said, this is a, a process of understanding. I know not everybody knew all the rules and whatever and they're still you know learning and stuff so um he's really brought it the past few days but just based on his physique alone he really brought it and looked incredible and uh not to leave anybody out uh luann is the, the exact same she's the third of that so luann and anthony both had dramatic transformations now luann did some more posting than uh than anthony did but still, um, it wasn't, you know, on the same level as some of the other people, but it was an incredible before and after transformation. It was very inspiring. And you guys both get the, uh, the prizes as outlined, including the bomber jackets and additional items from the store. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Okay. Thank you. So we're moving on to the uh, next one. So I, I really wish that... Um, that uh, Julianne Paulson could have been here, but I'm. Uh, she's got a lot of things going on in her life right now. She's on the uh, school board, and, and not to get too much in the details, there's a whole thing at her school board between masks and not masks, and there's like a lawsuit filed by 250 students, and she's been all, up all night having to kind of get sucked into all this stuff. And um, so we were supposed to have a chat, but we we spoke last week, and I actually shared with her a lot of the videos and stuff of the individuals. So I will just tell you um, some of the things we spoke about and what we decided together. So we, she went from five to seven in total after hearing everybody's stories. And um, she said that she there's a choice of gem within the pendant. Now she said, uh, she mentioned the RBT colors being red for Ruby and black for Onyx. And she said it could either be a combination of the two or one or the other. And I'm not sure exactly how that works with settings. So I haven't had a chance to really discuss that. So I'm not hundred percent sure, but it might be the type of thing where you can have a choice over the color, just depending on what color, but definitely if it's an RBT color, that would be preferred. So that's uh, a very cool thing. And um, these items uh, from us, uh, it's uh, her company is called Strelman's Jewelers and she's a big supporter of uh, women's um, women's groups and, and people that have gone through a lot. And she did say that in the future, she wants to provide rings and other things for men, but this is her first go around with us. And each of these items are a few hundred dollars in value. But more important than that is, you know, it's a keepsake that basically only, you know, an elite group is getting, which is, is you. So what we decided to do with that is I, I chose the most inspiring female stories in order to give this uh, prize. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go through that now. 
You guys ready? Yeah. I feel like I need that music a little bit. <laughs> I'm addicted to the music. <laughs> Life is a big jukebox. Yeah, I won't go too much into the, I won't really go in the background because you already heard their stories from their own mouth. The first winner of a pendant is Jennifer Geeson. Congrats. Next uh, winner, Pearl. Can you just say Pearl? I said Pearl. Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> he said Pearl. So all you've been up to is like four. Pearl. <laughs> so far, we got Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you. And Pearl. Put that music on uh, back on. We love it. <laughs> on loop. I, I, th I actually thought about putting the Halloween music or something on for October, but <laughs> this is who wants to be a millionaire, right? <laughs> yeah. $64,000 question. They said this and up is the, they just increased the tempo. So, all right. Next one. JJ Gray. I'll, I'll stop the music before I announce. I got to get that down. Okay, so JJ Gray is the third winner. <laughs> Jesse Romero. <Yay. laughs> Rebecca Ryan. All right. Awesome. Tamika. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, there's one more to give out. Ashley North. Thank you. Yay. Music makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> okay, so does everybody have that? So the winner of the RBT pendants are Jennifer Geeson, Pearl, JJ Gray, Jesse, Rebecca Ryan, Tamika Stewart, and Ashley North. Thank you. So congratulations, all of you. That's a super cool prize. Thank you. All right, are you guys ready for the top of the top? Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> So we have some surprises with this. So we had to do something a little bit unique. We actually had a tie for second place. So instead of a third, what we had to do was we had to split up second place. And uh, so the way that we configured it financially, whatever is, and I, I'll give you one hint. There's a male and female for second place. And um, go deep. with that, said go divas. <laughs> I'm male and a female. So the second place, both will get a thousand dollars in cash. Uh, Twelve months coaching, and both will also get one thousand from in supplements from Magnum. And both will get 250 gift card each from the shop. 
Is it? You guys have any guesses? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> You guys want me to announce the male or female first? <laughs> the male. And, and just to go Get over on the, with it. <laughs> just to go over the rules, there there was four criteria. So these are people that scored the highest uh, in all of the numbers. So we had a, a one to ten for each criteria. We added it together, and this is how the scores came out. Wait, wait. What's the criteria? I was going to say, uh, um, this is a very <laughs> drawn out description, but um, <laughs> so the criteria is the before and after of the actual pictures and video, the actual measurements and weight lost or gained, depending on the goal. It's the uh, hardships and things that have to be overcome, the backstory. And then the uh, and the submission answers was part of that, and the video and the submission videos was part of that. Then it was um, the uh, the involvement in the community and support of each other and all of that sort of thing. Social media. So adding all those factors together, the second place male winner is Terrell. Now, Terrell, how much weight did you lose? 40.1 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, incredible yeah. physical change. It was, it was yeah. definitely hard. <laughs> Not easy at all. And it was, thank you, guys. It was very dramatic. And then we also checked the stats, and he was... <laughs> And he was very active uh, on social media as well. Thank you. Great, and a great backstory as well as he was describing. So, all right. So now we're going to move on to the female. I'll Music. give you one hint. This this female has already won one other thing tonight. This this uh, female already has a pendant. She's an underdog, Jesse Romero. Jesse. Oh my gosh, oh, thank you so much. Oh. Congrats, Jess. Congratulations, Jesse. Well deserved, girl. Fantastic. Hi, Jesse. Get it, girl. Awesome. Did, it. Did that damn thing. <laughs> and I will also say that Jesse had the second most votes from other uh, people that submitted their applications on who should win. All right. Thank you. Do you got anything you want to say, Jess? I love you. Don't make me cry. We love you, Jesse. Oh my gosh. So inspirational. I've never accomplished well executed, Jesse. Or I never finished anything. I haven't quit the first competition. And I'm just really proud of myself that I actually completed the competition. And I knew from the beginning I already won. Not from not this, but because I lost, you know, 33 pounds from the first competition, um, 15 pounds this last one. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. You guys just uplifted me so much. I just appreciate my love. Oh, man. And look, I went and got my, I don't, you can see it, but I got my, no, don't look. RBG for tonight. Yeah, you're doing oh, it. Is she, she flipping me off? No, <laughs> like, I got the RBG down to my nails for the thing for this tonight. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh. Congratulations. Everyone accomplishes well, more. Well awesome. awesome. <laughs> we have another curveball, too. We have another curveball, too. 
Another first one. Place is, first place is also a tie. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a female and a male as well. Music. Oh my god. <laughs> Be right back, bathroom break. This is killing us. James, the stress is in for me. It's not my dog is telling you to tell us. Okay, so in order to, to divide this, uh, we added some additional money into it. Um, but what it comes out to is that it's going to be, it's kind of an awkward number, but it's 2250 each in cash, 150 sorry, 1500 in supplements each, 12-month VIP coaching package each, 500 gift card each. Do we go male or female first on this one? Male. It's done with this. <laughs> Just oh, female, 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 <laughs> female, 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 female. The female summer challenge Magnum RBT winner is JJ Gray. Yeah. 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 Ye
And um, the people that are the winners, one of the tendencies is they kind of stuck it out throughout the whole thing and, and were there and present and, and kept at it. And I think that makes a difference for anybody in the future that might, might watch this and doing a future competition. I never, I, I was actually sad when I saw some people call it, kind of fall off or disappear or give up because, you know, they were doing amazing. So, all right, back to tension. Okay. So male. Hmm. RBT Summer Challenge Male Participant brought to you by Magnum RBT. What's that? The male champion. Oh, the male champion. Yes, of course. Male champion. Oh. Is. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> Jack Bunch. Woo! Yeah! 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 Now this is before the challenge. So this didn't count as part of the challenge. And this isn't why he won, but he came from 280 pounds. He's now around 200 pounds and he's a tall guy. We met him in person, hey. he's like six two, six one. Oh. And um, he, uh, he looked amazing from his back. Like if you see his before and after his back, it's completely changed in that 12 weeks. Same with his side and um, his front as well, but the back is really crazy. And you have to really look at all the angles to, to judge these things. Um, he was the most voted by other people on who should win this contest. And that's not why he won. <laughs> oh, he's a mo Oh, okay. This does Aww. not happen very often. Oh, just, Aww. you can, you can but, do it. Um, yeah, an incredible guy that was very uh inspiring within the community and um incredible story and just always a positive person and uh always pulling for other people i mean the guy um, even watched my interview last night and he's probably the only one <laughs> but that just goes to show and bought a ton of rbt gear and some of that factored in in terms of the <laughs> social media component but really what that wasn't the whole thing it was the combination of how he looked, his energy, and overall who brought it. And I can't think of a more deserving champion. Although, like I said, he was on par with JJ. So just because we announced him last, they are co-winners and champions in this. So congratulations, Jack. How do you feel, Jack? Oh, I feel awesome, man. Of course. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. Jeez. It's crazy. Yeah. Thank everybody, you know, for their support. And, um, you know, thank all James and Michelle and Anthony and Carlos. And, you know, and of course, my co champion, uh, JJ, you know, we hit it off from right from the start. So, you know, I got my boy David. He's always there. Got my dad, Terrell, you know, all of them, Pearl, the whole team, you know. Team Mojo, baby. That's how we bring it, right? There we go. Got the hat on over there. Dave, uh, talk so we can see the hat. Awesome. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Then, there it is. I'm to click in on you here. The most important, Coach Moko, man. She was the key to everything for me. Changed well, not only my body, but my mental game. And I couldn't have done it without her. So I love her, like, big time. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to join us tonight, but she's going to get a surprise. And what's going to happen is we're going to edit this video together. Um, or Carlos is going to put this together and we'll have a, a snappy uh, picture for the cover and all that. And we'll put it out throughout the community and all that. And uh, 
you know, you guys could celebrate in the meantime, but that'll be the video where everybody can watch uh, Sunny live, so to speak, and and see the moment. So they'll be able to share that moment with you and and all that. So it's going to be super exciting. And um, congratulations, Jack. Congratulations, JJ. Congratulations, Jesse and Terrell. Four yes. serving yes. winners. And I mean, I, I said it before, I can tell you, I watch James. Um, he goes through everything. Um, he shares everything with Carlos and Anthony. I mean, there hasn't been a lot of sleep the last few weeks and that's why it took so long. We really did go through every answer, every, every video, all the social media aspects. I mean, it was really thorough, um, but I mean, final four, I mean, amazing. Mm -hmm. So congratulate, congratulations to all of you. Uh, like I said, think about what you want. I'm really excited to customize that clothing. And is Anthony and Carlos there? I'm sure Anthony wants yeah, to. Yeah, we, we just, one, one quick thing. Let's keep it going. We have the legacy opportunity moving mm -hmm. forward, which basically allows you to continue on. Uh, in the last competition, Jesse didn't play, but she placed in this one, you know, and that's how it goes. Sometimes Same you with me bring it so i feel like uh it's important that people continue with the process this isn't the end it's just the beginning so it's an ongoing right. thing That's well, right. and, you learn, and you learn from it and you know i we take we took great pride in our choices and i i'd like to point out that all all four people are completely different backgrounds you know and jack's retired and in his 60s and and that was a factor as well the guys in his 60s and you know, you've got uh, Terrell, who's much more reserved, still posting and opening up, but different personality. You have Jesse, who has had an incredibly hard life. And then you have somebody like JJ, who's had a difficulty with the stroke and everything, but is a teacher, is from Florida, different background. So, you know, it's um, there's nothing limiting anybody from being able to win this. And um, there's people that weren't on my radar. I mean, everybody knew who Jack was. Um, JJ came more on my radar over time. I knew Jesse from the first competition. Terrell was more, uh, Terrell really came on my radar when I saw the before and after picture. I was like, who is this guy? He posted them and it's like, this guy did an incredible change. You know, I, I mentioned that he went from like dad bod to like <laughs> an MMA fighter. So, you know, you, you never know who's going to come out, come from behind and all of a sudden you're like, who is this person? And and um and surprise you so I'm, I'm very proud of all of you winning and um i hope that i hope you'll all stick around for the other challenges and help support the other people or at least you know help uh spread the word of rbt to others because you know sometimes people have a, a tendency to win these things and then go off into the sunset and i think people will look to you guys for guidance and i think it would be very honorable for you guys to um pay it forward so to speak mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think a lot of people uh, in this 20 are very close, very close to like a complete total transformation. You know, like you're, you guys are, some people are within striking distance, 20 pounds away, 10 pounds away, 30 pounds away. So the main thing is don't fall off. Like, you know, don't submit when the contest is over and then, you know, let yourself go because you are close. This legacy thing is going to be your time to shine. So keep going. You know, one of the things that Jack uh, did was he kept going, you know, and he's still going. So if you look at a picture of him last week, he looks totally different now, leaner, stronger. I mean, that's the whole thing about transformation. Don't stop until you completely, completely get your dream body and then pick another dream body to get after that, you know, but you guys are all within striking distance, uh, especially some of the folks that this is their second challenge. You guys are right there. So keep going and enter the next one and 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 finish. Finish strong. Yeah. Absolutely. I want to say, can I say something? Yeah. I just want to say that I love you guys. Like every single one of you, like Jesse Romero, Jack Bunch, JJ, of course, but like and Terrell, like every single one of you people that are are, are part of RBT. You light up my life every single day, watching you grow, watching you change, watching you become these awesome, amazing, like she man and she people. Like you guys are just so tough and 
so tenacious and determined and you inspire me every day. And I am just so proud to be a part of this team and be able to watch you all grow. Thank you. We want to For thank me. our coaches. We want to thank all of our coaches involved. Uh, you guys are amazing. You know, you see uh, everyone praising their coach because it is, it's a big deal. You know, you need that person in your corner. And uh, thank you guys for everything that you do, the time and the patience and the wisdom and uh, for being there literally 24 hours, you know, it's, it's, it's that, that commitment that you guys have um, to see them to the finish line, you know, so thank you guys. Right, and, and Moco had an, uh, a large number of people here that placed um, in the top 20. And Michaela had an, a number of them that did really well that were right at the gate there. They didn't place in the top four, but were just uh, right there. And um, like I said, it's always incredibly difficult uh, to make the final decisions and we try to make the best decisions we can. But, you know, there's also a great point that Carlos makes about the transformation because the other thing that's like when I did my first competition, the closer I got to the stage, actually my body changed faster, more dramatically because as, as your fat starts dropping, you start seeing things, you know, cause when you just have layers, it's, it's really hard to tell the difference when you start dropping weight. So, um, and when you look at it visually, sometimes people lose it from different parts at different times and stuff like that. So definitely stick with things and, and um, you know, continue to improve yourself and, and go with the next challenge or the legacy for sure. And like I said, a lot of you guys were right at the gate there, um, giving these guys hell. So it was a very, it made it very hard for us. I mean, we had two ties. That's how difficult this was. We're working on some crazy prizes <laughs> moving forward. And uh, we don't have it fully secured yet, but, you know, uh, to play a little spoiler here, we have one that we're working on very tightly and, and pushing for, which is a, a skin surgery, an actual tummy tuck, where if you lose the weight for the legacy people that lose a lot of weight and over time will need to tighten up and want to go through that, we have a world-renowned um, a surgeon who we're in talks with to help sponsor one of our competitions moving forward, one of our challenges, and one of the prizes that we may offer up is uh, is actually the surgery to remove the loose skin after the transformations are completed. So keep that in mind for the legacy. Keep the, that should be something because sometimes you don't even want to jump into something like this because you're afraid of what you do with the loose skin. That's the only reason I don't lose the weight. I, I you know, I don't want to go through the surgery. That's what lose the weight. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, but some people don't do that. You know, some people are afraid of that. So just know that even in, even in that we got you covered, maybe we're working on it. We're talking to you guys in private, so to speak, but uh, that's something that we're thinking about, you know, putting together. So we're that would be awesome. On, uh, we're also working on meal prep companies that would also sponsor potentially and deliver meals that uh, the coaches would work on so that eliminates that factor so these are ready to go uh -huh. um and 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 we're, we're gonna team up with some big names so it's all in it's all in the oven right now so yeah one of the great things about this is as the energy of rbt grows we attract more people to us and we get more sponsors that write us every day and more potential and it of course it takes time with the negotiations to work through these things but uh, we're definitely growing exponentially. So definitely uh, stick with us. There's a lot to, to unpack and unfold over the next few months. It's going to be very exciting. May I say one last thing? Yes. Uh, I just want to thank Anthony and James, Carlos, Michelle, Moco, all the coaches, everybody behind the scenes for giving us a safe place a safe community to come to so we can be vulnerable and be us and just being able to trust you guys. That really means that means the world because trust is far and few in between in my world. And I was able to let loose and say whatever the hell I wanted from picking my wedgie to being a survivor of child trafficking. And it stayed with you guys. And I appreciate you guys more than anything. More than anything. Thank you. God loves you and I will. <laughs> And just think, Jess, you went from being in prison to the second runner-up for female of this. Second place. second place. Like, that's insane. So, you know, just shows that 
your past does not affect your your future. I you could have done it without called? y'all. This, this is called a winning streak. Start your winning streak now. That's the main thing, you know? This is electric. Jump on this electric wave and apply it to all aspects of your life. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thanks to everyone. We'll be in touch. We love you guys. And uh, we'll see you out there in the community. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Awesome. Congratulations. Congrats, everyone. Love you guys. Congratulations. So proud of you guys. Congratulations, JJ, Jack, Terrell. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Congratulations, everyone. All the best. Congrats. RBT, everyone, coach, Moko, all the coaches, Anthony, James, Carlos, everybody, the Divas, we're coming for you soon. Don't worry. We got it. <laughs> Jack Bunch, my brother. Mwah, mwah. Love you all. Have Love to get, you all, guys. More get together soon. Let's do it. We got to celebrate. Hi, everyone. Mad. <laughs>